Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the croakiest voices. I know I was going to say, ooh, that was rough. <laughs> it's, it's a rough, a rough intro. Oh, yeah. But like Chelstony Mao says, on with on the show. On with the show. Woo! It's we got been, games to play. We do. Four. It's been too so long excited. since we broadcasted. So I know. <laughs> I couldn't delay it another day. Yeah. I had to do it. Uh, tea. I will have some tea after that. Good suggestion. Yeah, I might have to make him some in the middle, actually, <laughs> depending on how the voice does. Yeah, don't uh, don't scream. Just keep the no. mic level uh, up high. Yeah, keep it, keep yeah. it calm. Hi, yeah. Kat. We have four games today that include three exclusive world premieres. That's exciting. Three. That's very exciting. I cannot believe it. Excellent. Um, the first one is Oh Shoot. Nice. A uh, brand new exclusive world premiere, Aliens, Plasma Gun, and Chewing Gum. Ooh. Another exclusive world premiere from this year. Nice. <laughs> mm. yeah. uh, and we'll talk about that in a bit. <laughs> uh, Ninja Block. Uh, exclusive world premiere, new game as well. Yeah. Some of these nobody even knows about. Uh, it's so exciting. I uh, love it. And we're going to play the final version, uh, retail final version of Altair's Lair. And I believe some of the people are in the chat. Nice. Some of the developers. Nice. Three might be a record. I think it is. I think three is a record in one show. Three world premieres in one show. The, that oh, only... Philip Meyer Yay, is oh, the Osher's guy. guy. Welcome. So he's up first. Okay. So if you have any questions about his game... Uh, he can tell you about it, nice. which is awesome. Nice. Did you lose a bat? No, I like the black fingernails. <laughs> um, and tonight, Tanya is going to read out the Twitch subscriber. Am I? Oh my goodness! Because yes. Because I don't want to strain my voice I, too I, much. Do I have to? I'll have to scroll. So let me switch spots with you. Oh, oh yeah, briefly. I guess so. This is official, yeah. so that uh, it uh, okay. the person who reads the names is over <laughs> here, right? Let me okay. want to move over a little bit. All right, and you have You're to you screen. have to be Vanna. Am I off the screen? Yeah. Sorry. See, okay. I'm not used to this. this is, I'm not usually in this. <laughs> Harsh. Series. Yeah. Yeah. Read them as fast as you can. All right. Here we go. Whew. Okay. I'm going to refer Andre Atari. I'm Scar Coder. Atari 90, 1974. Atari HB or Pocock. Bruno Stu. Charles Sedoni Mal. Charles Wheel and Chitlidla. Cubanismo. Serrano Reboot. Dan ABC. Dave MAZ. Drexel. Dr. Moo Cows. E. Anschwitz. Gamma Dev. Glenn Main. Uh. Gray Defender. Hodge 2309, Ivory Tower Collections, Johnny WC23, Kabuto Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Croco 2600, Cavelta Fur, Lambda Express, Mandy Sipping Tea, Marco Johannes, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse, Nick so Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Ms. Nomer 21, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Neomita 1974, Nostalgic 26, Pseudographics, Quahog 2600, Ren. Ren. Nope. Schuitz. Nope. R. Anschwitz, Rendered Ghost, <laughs> Repentless VG, Revan Tuli 124, Ricardo Pim, Six Weeks, Smitty B7800, Spiceware, Spinley 1970, S. Ramirez, 2008, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, Tweeny V. Vexer. Vexer X, Vintage Gaming Memories, Vitoko 8 Bit, VVG Double Down, X Ken X 70, Zombie Alice 7. Thank you, and if you are interested, please subscribe or follow. <laughs> oh, the whole thing, yes. And we have some new subscribers. Yay! And they are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Nostalgic. There were a couple names on there because uh, the names don't have spacing. It's a little hard to read, but so, James is used to them. That one. Oh, be our poke off resubscribe. Yay! The treat ball is loose. The treat Yay! Ball is loose. The treat ball is loose. <laughs> Woohoo! Ricardo Pim resubscribed. S. Ramirez 2008 resubscribed. So if you want to do that, definitely hit the subscribe button. It's Yay. free with Amazon Prime or not free without it. Oh, this computer. Yep. Oh, is it going crazy? No, it's going to sleep because of the power supply. I will deal with that because I'm used to being on this. <clears throat> Okay. There we go. Excellent. And your pillow. Back, back in the correct seat. Oh, they liked it. You did well. <laughs> I had to start the it chrono. It wasn't terrible. Tanya should do it until she's as fast as Jean. I Unless know. She, it takes a bit of practice. She was doing all the numbers, and I drop off a lot. I know of you do. Well, you yeah. have, and also you say the name so much. Like, yes. Like there is again. One name flows to the next. Exactly. It's like a sentence for me. And it, it what, what. Um, uh, mm. trips you up is when there's a new one. Yes, I'm like, oh, oh there's a new one You're in the place. You're used to saying M.K. Smith, Mr. Fix, and, and certain in certain in a in a row. Yes. And then if 
A new one comes. One gets inserted in oh the middle god. and it gets uh, difficult. Oh my god. Yay. Unleash uh. the treat ball. Oh. So. You want some have? treats? Did you want treats? You want treats? He's like, yes, okay. of course. You need to ask. Who unleashed the treat ball? It's Gamma Dev. Thank you. If you can get the box, I will get I'll these get the prepared. Box. You can load this up while I continue I on. Just poop that there. And I will switch this over for <laughs> people to watch the Kitty Atari. But there how many go. can you get without looking? In the I combat could... playfield. Uh, we were away on vacation, so I did not get the combat playfield up and running. But that's still an oh, that's excellent not the right one. suggestion. Okay, that's there enough. Is that enough? That's it. About ten. About ten. Yeah. Yeah. About ten. Oh, we got so much to catch up on. Oh my God, we're off for I don't know how long, but things happened. Are you ready? Are you ready? There you go. Terry's ready. He's meowing. Go, go, go. Go get your treats. Okay. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit later while we play the games about yes. the punk festival Yay! we went to in Pomona, yes. Los Angeles, Southern California on yeah. Saturday. Oh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. My feet hurt by the end. <laughs> Uh, yes. It was painful. Um, but uh, but first, we're going to just show you who was there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, because then we'll, uh, we won't be able to show this while, while um, we're playing the game. So I'll just show you the names of the people mm -hmm. that were there. It was an incredible lineup of 70s and 80s punk mm. pioneers. Yes, really. <clears throat> Is I, I went through our pictures and it's like it's almost perfectly divided between like 78, 79, 77, 76, and 80. Like it's oh, as almost far everybody as, was yeah. between 77 and 80 yeah. from there that they started. Yeah. So the original Misfits. Yeah. That's like the original lineup. Yeah. Uh, Social Distortion. We didn't see Social Distortion. No. Uh, Iggy Pop yes. we saw. Wow. Amazing. Um, we saw. Bad I'll say religion. who we saw. Bad yeah. Religion. We didn't see Sublime. I'm not, I'm not too crazy about them. Yeah. Uh, we saw The Damned. We saw Suicidal Tendencies. Did you see a bit of Dillinger Escape Plan or no? Uh, off in the distance. Off in the distance, and We'll yeah. tell a story about that as yeah. well. <laughs> uh, we saw The the Vandals. Uh, we saw... Uh, the the Addicts. Addicts. Agent Orange. Yeah. Uh, Adolescence. Adolescence. Was, I really enjoyed them, so yeah. Um, we saw... Aquabats. Yes. <laughs> and I swear some more as well, but uh, the yeah, dead milkmen. Did we see them in the end? No, we didn't, we get, didn't there, did we? get there because of time issues. We'll talk about that as yeah. well. Yeah. Viagra boys. We that was on the list. That was on the short list. Yeah. I did want to see them, but they com com conflicted because they were oh, four stages. Four stages. Yeah. So was there crazy. was no way to see. Absolutely everyone. It was impossible. Yeah. People were like, ah, their minds are exploding. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. they're so mad they couldn't yeah. see every single yeah. person. Yeah. Might be one of the last opportunities to see the pioneers performing. Yeah. Yes. Some of they're all very old. Yes. If you think, okay, they started in 77. Yeah. How old were they in 77? Yeah. yeah. That was 45 years ago. Yeah. 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 yeah, they're all 60 to 70 year olds. <laughs> Vitoka says, I know no names from that list. Oh, uh, well, well not, a, okay. not a punk fan. <laughs> you must know Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop. That's Iggy and the Stooges. To not know Iggy Pop. Uh, yeah. He transcends um, punk. He does. He's. he's and, he, uh, and well, we'll get to it deemed later. Deemed the godfather but of punk. Probably of this group. Proto punk he started in, yes? Uh, of this group. <clears throat> They were they were fantastic performances. I was so excited to see Iggy Pop. I think he delivered. He delivered, and I. Are you done, cat? Oh. <laughs> Did off. you get that? No. Oh, kitten. Oh, baby. You scared him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Iggy Pop was even on an episode of Deep Space Nine. What? <laughs> he was? I, I, he's on everything. Wow. Uh, he's been no, long his enough. his music's iconic, and and I was so excited because I'd never seen him, and I was scared I would never get the opportunity to see him. So, yeah, it's likely so he's, he's seventy seven years old. And he did not disappoint. Not yeah. disappoint. Yeah, he was rocking that He was that fantastic. Stage. Um. Wow. So we'll talk a bit about that some more later. Oh, I have to show you this photo before we continue because I can't show you this photo during the games. Mm. Uh, this is hilarious. Tanya pointed this out to me. Mm. Uh, while we're at the punk festival, she knows which photo I'm talking about. I do. <laughs> uh, let me go to it. 
photo speaks for itself. So we were um, eating eating our lunch, right? And this was off to the side. Yeah. Uh, right here. Uh, so Tanya looked over and saw this. Tablescaping. What is tablescaping? Yeah, no. <laughs> Doorscaping. You scape doors? Yeah. What? And homebrew demonstrations. <laughs> it was locked. There was we couldn't get into the homebrew demonstrations. No, it was very sadly. Very sad. I wanted to see what I homebrew that was, was awesome. there. I'm like, oh you gotta take a photo of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're gonna just um, we're, we should have stole the sign. I mean that would have been very punk. Stuff. Yes. Uh, well, stole the sign and then put it up oh above God. the zero page. That'd be yeah. amazing. It was destiny. It was destiny. So I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Did, I I know homebrew in that is, is beer, right? They're, oh, of they're course. They're probably talking of about course. beer, but what is doorscaping and tablescaping? I don't know. What the hell is that? That's very interesting. That's super weird. Oh, beer. For for sure it was it beer. Was for, it was not yeah. video games at yeah. all, for sure. But it was still funny. It was a, that was like a permanent <laughs> sign. There. It was a permanent sign. So, yeah, I guess they probably uh, have uh, some kind of fair. I'm guessing. I'm guessing a lot of those big event spaces have like annual oh, fairs, yeah, and yeah. that's probably associated. Yeah. To that, but. Um, so I'm sick. I'm definitely caught it from somebody. Yeah. At at uh, No Values Festival. Yeah. I, I made the joke to Tanya that I caught COVID from Danzig no. <laughs> <laughs> of the Misfits. Yeah. Yeah, but no, yeah. it's probably not COVID. But I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. It's not that bad. Um, we're going to be at the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo on June 22nd. Uh, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. So if you see us there and you're attending, just come over and say hi. I was going to say we're not friendly. in any we'll particular bite. professional capacity, oh, just no, no, no. to be there. We're just, we're just there. We we're, like to go. We like to wander. So. Yeah. Like two years yeah. ago, I, I did you, a panel. You did a panel, but, but uh, not this not, year. Nothing this year. Yeah. Nothing to talk about this no. year. So we'll be just be on the, the, the showroom floor yeah. and going to the panels and stuff. And uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll see if I say run hi. into other, some other people as yeah. well. Oh, and Pseudographics is organizing a local Atari event this Yay. weekend. That's awesome. Stealing the sign would be so punk rock. Yeah. It would be. <laughs> um, huge news. Massive. Huge, massive news. This Friday, we have a special guest on the show through, via video. Are you allowed to say who? I are you, am. Are you keeping it quiet? No, I'm download? definitely not keeping it okay. quiet. Okay, okay. I'm going to shout this from the rooftops. Yes. Um, we have an OG Atari programmer yeah. from Activision. Mm -hmm. What well, was Activision? Um, <laughs> we have a live interview with John Van Risen of Hero Fame. We're going to talk to him about Alien Abduction, his new game being released through Audacity. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, he has never given a video interview. Nice. Ever. He has no video presence on the internet. <laughs> um, so I'm very, very honored that yeah. he would come on Zero Page Homebrew to talk about alien abduction. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. So <laughs> we're going to talk about tons and tons of stuff. His early days of development. Um, his game uh, that was on the VCS and now it's going to be released through Audacity and his development of alien abduction and i'm going to put the call out to on the atari H forums of any questions that you guys mm. want to ask of john van risen as mm. well so that should be will there be probing <laughs> probe 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 <laughs> yeah every time i search for alien abduction mm. on <laughs> on youtube mm -hmm. it like pops up a warning at the top not even a warning a definition of alien abduction oh really <laughs> It's so weird. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show it. I want to see this. Now. It's so weird. Let me just. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to type alien abduction. Oh, it doesn't show it. I'm going to have to move it down. Abduction. Not stories. Just alien abduction. Hopefully. Yeah, there it, it does is. show it. Okay. Here it. Like, I've never seen it for anything else I've ever searched for. Wikipedia. Alien abduction refers to the phenomenon of people reporting what they believe to be real experience of being kidnapped by extraterrestrial beings, a subject of physical and psychological experimentation. People claim to be abducted uh, are usually called abduct abductees or experiencers. Why? <laughs> Why that? That's the only thing I've ever seen YouTube warn you about. 
It's yeah, it does seem it's pretty really self-defining. It's just a Wikipedia definition. But that's the isn't only, that funny? Only that one it's, I've ever seen. That's really come up. funny. Like, has anybody else seen? Uh, Wikipedia entries come up for YouTube? Well, Ch Chilla saying, I've seen that under certain videos after I click on them, yes. never on a search. I've seen that. Is, yeah. So are they now pulling in definitions to statements on YouTube? I've, that's the first time I've ever seen it. But that's really funny. I've never though. seen it come up for anything else. Yeah. Perhaps it's some kind of Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Could be. Yeah, I've seen them over dangerous terms, but is yes. it like, we're just defining this <laughs> so that Maybe they do it for fringe things, like conspiracy I, stuff. Like anything to do with conspiracies and that kind of thing. But it's not even saying, under... like, it's not even a warning in the sense it doesn't no. say, this is bull crap. <laughs> it, 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 it's just, it's just, here's a definition, which I find really kind of funny. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really, really weird. Yeah. Um, so we've been away for a little bit, so I'm, I'm mm -hmm. going to catch up on mm -hmm. some news. I don't have that much, but this was interesting on the Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. Atari posts on the Atari age forums or representatives from Atari post on the Atari age forums, you know, clearing things up, answering questions. And I found this one to be interesting. Um, it's Trogdar Robusto. I can't remember mm -hmm. his real name, but um, <laughs> it's definitely not his real name. Uh, I wanted to start a thread to discuss Atari's position on trademarks in relation to potential, potential use by members of the Atari age community. Mm. I know there's been a lot of discussion and conjecture on how Atari will behave, behave, in this area and what we've done in the past behave uh, neither al or i are on the legal team and this isn't legal advice but we can shed some light on the topic a legal team assures us that is always trying to balance the importance of protecting atari and its ip with the passion of our fans and their desire to create games um they're working on a plan to let a uh, developer use Atari platform logos when they're creating and selling products. As long as they use the logo and copyright line correctly, this would now include Intellivision. Intellivision. Of course, okay. they, they own Intellivision now. Um, they typically would not be a cost associated with the use of Atari marks. Simple a license agreement would need to be signed. Mm. So if you need to want to put Atari, on Atari it. anywhere, you have to sign uh, a license agreement. <laughs> The rule should be don't, don't be Nintendo. <laughs> if yeah. you're not doing what Nintendo does, yeah. you're doing much better than the average uh, company. That's for sure. They shut down anything. As soon as you start to say Nin, they're on you. They, mm. they've, they've shut down your, your stream. They've shut down your, your video. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, we have a line in the Gizzards manual that is kind of wrong now. Mm. Mm. Um. Okay, so they go on about, yeah, we're going to implement that. We're going to keep you up to date on it. Um, uh, let's see. I do want to call it that our team is continually scouring the internet for non-licensed products, of which there is an endless stream. And we've engaged vendors who specialize in this work, protecting brands and their IPs. I was on the receiving end of Atari's lawyers. I uh, Yes, you were. <laughs> so this is why it's an interest to me. Yes. I had a takedown yes. of a product that I was selling. Yes. It had nothing to do with Atari. It did not have Atari consoles on it. I can't remember what was on it. I'll tell you. Didn't have Atari logo on it. Yeah. It didn't have the word Atari on the t-shirt. Mm. It was our cat. Atari. And he was on the t-shirt. Yeah. And it said Zero Page Homebrew on it. Yeah. It's still for sale, I think. Um, but in the description, it had a cat. Yeah, it had a cat. <laughs> Not a Lynx <laughs> or a Jaguar. No. Nope. It had an, uh, an Atari. An Atari cat. Yeah. Um, but in the description, it said Atari and Pixel. Oh, right? Yeah. And it was just like, oh, we see the word Atari. Down. Oh. Banned. Off the internet with you. Mm. Um, no explanation given. Just like, hey, you're, you're violating copyright, yeah. and they took it down. I, I put it back up without the name, and I said, our cats. Yeah. And I didn't name the cats. Yeah. Because who cares? Yeah. I guess. But it was overzealous IP, like any, you can't name your cat Atari, apparently, yeah. on the well, internet. Well, as Gamadev says, he's a Go fan. Atari is, <laughs> is a word loves. used yes. in the game Go. Go. So, That's right. I, yeah. He loves the so game Go. There's nothing wrong with that word. No. As part no. of the enforcement effort, some fan activity may incorrectly get flagged. Uh oh. Yes. Anytime the system thinks it sees somebody using Atari trademark improperly, like selling something directly using the logo 
as an endorsement for products and services. It will shoot off a flare! As an unfortunate byproduct of this effort is sometimes activities that Atari may not normally ask to be taken down will get flagged and a takedown notice or a cease and desist letter will be sent. I got a takedown notice, not a cease and desist. No, no. Because I wasn't like selling Atari merchandise, so we didn't get to that next level. No. Um, when that happens, we endeavor to resolve it am amicably and quickly. I did not contact Atari and say, hey, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Um, but they didn't reach out to me either. They just took it down. Well, and, and it was <clears throat> it was obviously not an issue, and changing the name was the easiest way to get, yeah, get so that done. I'm not going to bother. I wasn't going to bother <laughs> at the butt. time. Hi. And this was before... <laughs> um atari had anything to do with an atari with atari age so i didn't yeah. i didn't have any contacts at atari so i was like oh, i'm not gonna well it didn't really matter for that one and also <clears throat> i wouldn't be surprised if the company the t-shirt company had its own kind of search in the background going no no you don't think so because it was up for a while oh, okay i thought um, it was only up for a day though no it, yeah it was up longer okay. additionally albert is now involved in this review process Excellent. Yay. <laughs> and he will help verify that products that are flagged are legitimate violations. In a, that's what Albert needs. More yeah. work. More work to do. Al, you're taking on trademark violations. <laughs> um, in order to reduce the number of false positives received by community members. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> Al doesn't need that work. Uh, one example of how the current team at Atari approaches this topic differently from prior leadership is the situation regarding Atari2600.org. Ah. This was a site run by Andrew Davey mm. that provided resources to 2600 developers. Oh boy, Andrew didn't like this. No. <laughs> oh my. Um, it was a, Andrew is no, no longer part of the Atari age forums, by the way. Oh no. Uh, as soon as it, um, it was a while back that happened. Anyway, we went over that back then. Yeah. It was a passion project and a valuable resource to the community. Under the prior administration, the site was caught up in a sweep of domain names. And Andrew received a cease and desist oh, notice no. for using a URL with Atari 2600 in it. Andrew knows the story better than I do. He does. I talked to him. Mm -hmm. um, but he was unable to resolve the situation with Atari and ended up not only giving up the domain name, he also shuttered the site. And now it's a spam want. site. Oh no! So it's and it has Atari stuff on it. Really? Faking that it's Atari. So not now. Atari. It's, so now it's excuse out of, me. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's out of the hands of a fan and an enthusiast for the Atari, oh, and now no. it's in the hands of a clickbait spammer. You oh, go there and no. it's garbage, oh, and it's no. pictures of Atari merchandise. And it's oh my god yeah and and Andrew Davy has his own um, uh, website and okay. forum up now that's that's just a different I off the top of my head I can't remember what it's called it's like wizards wood grain mm. Taz no, no oh man it's a hard name to remember. <laughs> <laughs> but just you can you'll be able to find it um, we regret the outcome and apologize to Andrew. That situation could be handled better, and it's the kind of matter that the current team at Atari is actively working to handle differently. Well, I'm not going to speak for Andrew. I've talked to Andrew specifically about this post yeah. and that situation, yeah. so I'm going to let Andrew speak for himself. If he, if he wants to if he, respond. If he yeah. wants to, yeah. in, in, in a public way. Oh. Um, now, we believe an active developer community working on Atari platforms is incredibly important to the health of the community and the long-term success of the brand and the company. Hopefully that comes through, and we know we need to prove in uh, day in and day out through our actions, and that's very important. Yeah. At the end, we've talked about this before, yeah. when the purchase of Atari Age happened by Atari and all our fears, and nothing has come of it. Yeah. A bit, like nothing bad or good really has come of it well mostly yeah. neutral maybe a little good here and there um but i would say i i'm hopeful that they stay true to their word and keep improving their relations with the community and so far they've been very nice to me but you know they they have to prove to everyone through their actions yeah not just words yeah and i have a domain that I've not used for Atari things. Yeah. But it, it could have been caught up. Oh, I see. And you know which one. Yes, I do. Um, I, I use it for other things than I have for 
Um, Thank you, Carl G. 35 years. There it is. Wood grain. Tezvijan. 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 See, it's very difficult to remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he's running his own um, forums over there where he mm. posts about his games mm. that he's working on. Mm. Um, like Boulder Dash 2. Mm. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it's like if I, if I used that for Atari 2600 things, mm. I probably would have would have got a cease and desist in yeah. the era that that happened yeah yeah um now hopefully not <laughs> i don't know i i don't plan on using that i was right gonna now. say put a bunch of stuff up and see what happens <laughs> yeah but i i'm it's using test out their action it's for something else right now <laughs> i know it is <laughs> that, I, that i don't really participate in anymore but yeah yeah it's pretty cool <laughs> you could say it probably I guess doesn't matter so. i own the domain 2600.ca the top level domain and i bought it in 1996 yeah i think around that around that era um and it's being used to point to the hacker magazine 2600 mm. <laughs> which is the frequency of the whistle from the captain crunch cereal box that you used to be able to get free phone calls for and that's where 2600 yeah, yeah. comes from if anybody out there is anywhere associated with hacking they know the connection between 2600 yeah. and hacking yeah yeah uh didn't know you could a have a domain final list. zine exactly a final zine yeah. and i have a lifetime subscription to that magazine because you still have that domain because i point that domain to their yeah. uh yeah. website yeah, yeah. And anyway. you still read it. It's still pretty cool. I, yep, I get it every month or yep. every quarter. Every quarter. Yeah. So, yeah. There yeah. are still some magazines out there worth reading. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, it's a yep. great magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that is something. <laughs> That's an interesting thing. Oh, and I also want to add to that some companies that everybody, a lot of people here know, did remove Atari words and logos from their merchandise to. Mm fairly major players in the um, homebrew and uh, support uh, community. Uh, they are Songbird and K-Retro had to sanitize really? their, their um, products. So that doesn't say Atari on it and it does not have the Atari logo on it. Really? And they were not, I, I, at least I know K-Retro was not super happy about having yeah. to do all this because they they have like 3D printed stuff and molds. Yeah. Um, and Songbird had to redo their packaging as well. I don't know if they're going to reach out to Atari and then redo it and introduce probably it again. Probably not. It's or they're probably just more be of a like, pain in the butt to do that. If, if they change, because if it changes it could hands change again, back. Yeah, yeah. and then they become more strict yeah. and they're like, ah, oh, we yeah. go back on our old things like anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, BR Polka says, I think I might have the domain registered for one of the local chapters. Oh, there very cool. One of the rare cases where permission is easier than for <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, we have a contest drawing to do. This is for the Jumping mm -hmm. at Shadows Mothline contest. Mm -hmm. And uh, we participated in that. That is the pack line version on the Jaguar. Oh, yes. Where it was one line and it yeah. was, um, yeah, Cyrano J made it. And uh, we participated in it. Our names are on here. If our names are drawn, we will not accept the prize. <laughs> but I'm including them anyway. Because last time we drew our names first. Well, my name first. That was quite funny. It actually. was so funny. That was so, ridiculously funny. Here are all the names. So what? who are the names? Where are they? Oh, they're the top. Any score. Okay. Any to... score on the moth line. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, the top line. Top um score got a prize and okay. they're removed from this i got gotcha. second place okay um i don't know where you placed mm, near the bottom <laughs> last place yeah um but that's okay you, i put i put, I put my uh score in there for, so for the fun of it maybe you can sell their old molds to a dental supply company yeah. funny okay so we're gonna mix up these and, and again, we can't win. And we can't win, so I'm gonna hold it up here so we can't mm -hmm. see it. And you're gonna grab it out of the Gravitic Mines hat. All right. Let's All right. see I've who gets the prize. Oh, it is Atari Jaguar VCS. Woo! Congratulations Good with a job. score of thirty-six thirty-five. Oh, it is a part participation. Prize. It is. <laughs> it's a random participation nice. prize. Um, so congratulations. Um, machine will be contacting you about your prize. Yes. I'll post it in the forum 
um, thread that uh, I'm going to make a little mark on it. So winner! I'm, winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. Oh, watch out, Atari. He's going to get too excited. You like my voice? Oh, Should it's I keep so it? croaky. No, I'm so worried. You're going to damage your vocal <coughs> cord. Oh, cords. maybe. I'm not singing anytime soon. Make sure soon, you drink so. some water. I've got a full <sighs> glass of water here. Yeah, good, good. Sorry you have to change your username since it contains multiple <laughs> trademarked words. Dope. That's right. Yeah. Um, and we have a coaster giveaway to do because oh, we it's do. a new month. Oh. But we're going to do that after two games. Okay. And do we have coasters down here? Uh, we do. I okay. Stack of coasters hey. to give away. Ooh. Probably that one too. That uh, you have. no. Or do you like that one? Um, that's one of the new I ones. Supposed to be using this one? I don't know. No, Probably one of the other. Good. This one's not as good. Okay. So, um, well, that's why. But we'll get to that after okay. two games. So stay tuned. Uh, if you've won before, you cannot win again. Oh, I like this one. Okay. And I have the question ready. It may require some research. Oh. And I will give hints because okay. nobody will get it right away unless you're like a stalker um, <laughs> of me. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. That's going to be hard, but but it's, it's related. Good. It's related it to is. what we did on the weekend. If, if Well, maybe some people were paying attention when you have you ever mentioned it before? Maybe. OK. I mean, we've mm -hmm. done six years. Hmm. Six and a half years of broadcasting. Yeah. OK. There's we'll a see. chance. There's a chance. There's a chance that we've mentioned it before. Uh, okay, now we're going to get to the first game, uh, which is Oh Shoot uh, by uh, Philip Mayer. Uh, this has not been posted anywhere. It has not been talked about. He has not posted screenshots of it anywhere. Um, this build is from June 4th, 2024. It's a 32K game. Um, I... As far as the availability of this game, I don't know when or if he's going to post it. Mm -hmm. I assume he's going to be posting it somewhere. He is not part of the Atari Age forum. Uh, he reached out to me directly okay. about this game. And I have some information about it. Um, some background of the game. I was always curious about Atari games and decided to make my own. I figured the only game that would be easy to make would and still be a quality game to play was, was a combat ripoff. My spin on the theme was to make a game faster paced and rapidly bring up new screens and new random ships to command. I have included the prototype ROM uh, of the game at this point. Spoiler, no couch compliance. Mm. <laughs> Your game is not couch compliant. Yeah. <laughs> I got obsessed with the project and did all the screen compression, bank switching, title screen, screen full screen effects, and AI. The AI is incredibly challenging to get working, but I figured it would make the game much more appealing. No single player option is the biggest complaint I hear about combat. Mm. Because combat is strictly a two player game. Correct. You have to have play against somebody. Mm. Uh, I tried to make the 2600 game, oh shoot, as user friendly as possible, but I think some explanation is still required. In the select screen, use the select switch or up and down on either controller to change the game selection. All the options are displayed on screen. Game selection number, max score, number of human players, indicated by the number of controllers, flight mode, speed, uh, ship speed, shot speed, and sub settings. Mm. The sub settings correspond to the number of players. Press left or right on either controller to modify them, changing game selection resets the sub settings. And we will go through those when we boot it up. So let's boot it up. get to the... Are you, what are you doing? Naughtiness. That's There's what's nothing happening. Nothing up there for you. Nothing. <clears throat> no, no. Nothing up there. No treats. There are no no treats. treats for you. Thank you. One week. Oh. No treats for you. It's like, no, that's no. unfair. Are you going to go after Bernie? <clears throat> yes. Bernie's coming soon. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you want to load up today's date. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, not yet, because this is... An exclusive world premiere. Okay, now we can almost load it up. Oh, I caught it. <clears throat> Look at that beautiful that title beautiful. screen with the floating ships. enemy ships. Really well done. Oh my goodness. 
That is gorgeous. So you said left or right, I believe. Oh my goodness. So these are the options. Um, A is assistance. Assist hmm. the player in avoiding crashing into the play field. Okay. Oh, that's like on new cars. A plus play field dodge assistance plus missile dodge assistance. Oh. E, easy. Oh, these are uh, one player. Easy. Easy computer opponent, less aggressive. N is normal computer opponent. H is hard computer opponent. So maybe normal first. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, baby cat. Um, and I'll let you play. So what are these? Manual, 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 auto, auto. Manual. Slow shot, fast slow shot, manual. Uh, I think he has updated those. So fast. Oh, stop, stop. Oh, EX. Okay, zero players. EX and EX plus is zero players. Oh, exhibition mode. Exhibition mode. Nice. X EX plus is exhibition oh, mode plus. Flemeyer says manual auto flight type. Okay. Manual auto is flight type. Okay. Hey, leave Bernie manual, alone. Slow, no, no, no. Fast. Oh, it's changed color. Slow, oh, fast. Goodness. Auto slow fast. Slow, oh, I see. See plus. the game number? Yeah. At the top. Oh my goodness. There's like a billion games, just like, just like combat, right? Oh. Oh, you're back to. Well. That's okay. Manual slow. Uh, I would. Player one. Is this single? Yeah, there's only one joystick, so I would do. Yeah, I would do that. Manual slow. Yeah. N. And. Normal. Normal. Yeah, normal computer opponent. No assistance. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Very loud. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. So Tanya's on the left. Ugh. Great explosions. And the computer's on the right. Ah! I just said I was very good at Ah! Oh, I got him. You did. Ah! And don't crash into the play field, because that will kill you as well. Oh, you just missed it. I know. Oh, you ah. got him. Ah! It's wiggly. I would get right wiggly. out of the way after you shoot him. And you can see that some of oh, the shots on. are only a certain length. This is so cool. This really, really reminds me of Archon, the uh, battlefield screen oh. on Ark. They both crashed in. I know. That's so funny. The battlefield screen on Archon. Oh, my God. You are just mystified. I don't person. like the wiggly. It goes for you. <laughs> Goodness sakes. Because in Archon, there's different attackers and defenders, and they have different types of bullets, and they have different <sighs> speeds of movement this is so as cool. well. I like it. And different play fields to play on. So, um, Philip, did you um, have any influence from Archon at all? Or have you played Archon? No need to rapid tap fire button. So you've got a... Um, Rapid fire? No. no? Well, kind yes, of. You do. But... Nice. First shot. Tips. Rapidly tapping the fire button ends the game, so you don't actually want to do that. Couch compliance is disabled and still until the screensaver kicks in. What? 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 Difficulty switches control if missiles are stopped by the playfield or not. Oh, so right now they go through the playfield. And you can set it so they hit the playfield, which would make it a lot harder. Yeah, it's uh, it's a different game with it. So does it control the left and right? And is it active? Oh, it is. Now it is. You can change it mid-game. Yeah. Ooh, that makes it much more difficult. Because it, especially the wiggly ones, because the wiggles will. Well, hit. and the, the the wiggly ones are have a lot huge advantage because of the well, not the now. space. Not now, and me running into it is not helpful. <laughs> um, no. no influence from Archon. Wow. Summon elemental. Yes, Broadcastler knows. So we both have black fingernails. Yes, we do. That's from going to the festival. Yeah. Um. Tricks. Try pressing right on the title screen. Try holding the reset button down. No, we'll do that after we get back to the... I think uh, the score is up to 30? 40? I missed it. Oh, he ran right into that. 
Yes, very nice explosions. You're very correct, nostalgic. Oh, he's dodging the playfield really well. Like he's going right up to it. Wow. I wonder if he's able. No, he's ran into the playfield. Hasn't he? One time. Yeah, he ran right into the top. How do you. How's the AI? That was pretty decent. Challenging? Yeah, it's, it's okay. not too hard. You're not wiping the floor with them. No, but I'm not that Oh, good. 19. Must be going to 20 because it's flashing. Nice. I like the flashing. Ah! Where it shows that it's game point. Oh, come on. There oh, we go. Oh, you got it. Very nice. Oh, so now you can... Oh, now it goes to screensaver. Okay. Uh, press the button. Oh, so rapidly tapping the fire button ends the game. Okay, so how do I get back to the opening screen? I don't think... He said it's not capturing points. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do... We want to do... What did you... So Philip says... There we go, two players. A, uh, try the AI in auto flight mode. Okay. It's auto flight. Oh, auto flight. Um, auto sh slow. What's auto flight? This is two players. You may want to go back to one player. How do I know what... what, what, what? Down. Down, down, down. This is zero players. Two players. So you can two, two joysticks. The two joysticks. Oh, there! I getcha. So auto, fast, Your game shot, is plus. Not couch. Is not couch. <laughs> <You have to laughs> Thank you, Carl G. To comply. <laughs> no, it's not couch compliant. Um, so you're on normal computer opponent. Go for hard. Okay. Go to the H. There we go. Uh, auto. It says assistance in the in the manual here, so I'm mm -hmm. guessing auto is. What did he say to do? Auto flight mode. I think okay. that's the auto. So I would go for this one. Oh my gosh! What's happening? You move forward. Oh no! You're forced. You're. Oh, you got him. Oh, as soon as you press it, can you not dodge those? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Easier said than done. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. It's so good though. Oh, you switch. Oh, you switch sides to shoot. Oh, and then you get stuck on the other end. Do you get stuck on the other end? Or does yeah. it start over? Try not to die. Oh my goodness, try not, I try to, not to get die. Oh, it's, I'm in fast shot now, which is why it's so much harder too. Yeah, Yay, that's how you do it. Yeah, a point. Ah, <laughs> oh, double kill. I'm okay with the double kills. Nice. Oh, now you're getting the hang of it. Oh, it's oh, cool. Freaking ducks. No, don't oh. get killed. I want to see what happens. What, the ducks? Oh, they're, they were the dragons I in Adventure. Know, I know, I know. That's from Homestar Runner. Yeah. Homestar Runner and anyone who knows what a, ducks look, a duck looks like. So, oh. so uh, Carl G asks, any plans for a cart release? <laughs> and um, Philip Meyer says, I want to put it in a cart if I can get Albert's attention. Well, well, enough. We'll definitely post in the Atari Age forums, ugh. and then get people to comment on your game. Yeah. And and if enough people say it's awesome. And he's on zero page homework, so there you go. And it got featured on zero page homework. Yes. Somehow. One of the three. Oh, look at those little guys at the bottom. That's so cute. I got destroyed on that. You want to give it a try? Yeah. It's pretty then fun. Then we go to two player. That is pretty fun. This nope. escalated quickly. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know if I want to play this room. Oh, it's so it's so crazy. Oh my god. Oh, it's screen shakes. I didn't even notice that. Uh, you just need the um, oh, oh, oh. vibration packs for your... Uh, oh, it just ends. It goes to the next one. Your Atari jo joystick. Well, that's, that's seen on its head pH, exactly. That's seen on its head. Oh. I never noticed the screen shakes. It's awesome. When you crash into the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just goes to the next uh, screen when you hit the side for a while. Mm. Ah. Now we go. Ah. Get it. No! Oh, it's so hard. Carl G asked, what size is the ROM? Oh, I did say it. 32K but... says. Okay, there we go. Yep. Damn it. Does Canada have its own version of Shark Tank? Yes, it does. Yes. And what is it called? Shark Tank? I thought it was called something else. And the people in the Canadian version of Shark Tank all went to the American Shark Tank. No, it's the yes. same guy who created... Um, Shark Tank, who runs the Canadian one, or vice versa, I can't remember. No, Dragon's no. Den. Dragon's, Dragon's Den. Den. It's, it's not called Shark Tank, it's called Dragon's Den. I, I watched it religiously. 
For a because while. Because it was so, it's so different. Yeah. Than the, than, it's not cutthroat and mean, and they're quite nice on it. Well, they're Canadian. What are you, you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? But, um, no, there was two, two people that came over to Shark Tank. Uh... The bald guy with the... Yes. Um, ah. uh, uh, Trev, Trev, Trev... No. Trev... Travelling? No. Who who runs Boston Pizza? Trey, uh, no. Trey, Trey Living? Living. Trey no, Living. He didn't go. Um, and then uh, the guy who's more of an asshole. What's his name? <laughs> yes. uh, oh my God! It's so God, hard. His name, his name escapes me now. Mr. Wonderful. Mr. I don't know Wonderful. what his real oh, yeah. name is. I can't remember. The guy who um, did educational software. That's how he got rich. Yeah, I remember that. That's funny. He sold it. I can't remember who he sold it to, and I can't remember the name of the educational software. <laughs> not not, <laughs> not doing it. well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll blame it on my sickness. Oh, my God. So it's Dragon's Den in Canada as well. It is. Gamma yeah. Devitz. And in Britain as well. Is it in Britain? Other, ah. Other, other where countries. did it originate? Did it originate in Britain? Probably. Usually things originate in Britain. It's like it works over there. We don't have to risk let's, anything. Let's try, try it here. Yeah. And fail usually. But this one took off. Oregon Trail. Oh, oh Kevin, you, Kevin, Kevin O'Leary. O'Leary. That's, Kevin that's, O'Leary, yeah, yes. That's the name I was, I was thinking of. Oregon Trail. No, it wasn't that company. Uh, or Kevin, Kevin Leary. Kevin Leary? Kevin O'Leary. Is it O'Leary? Yes, it is. 100%. You you you, you recognize there's kinship the in the in the apostrophe? <laughs> no. No? I just remember his name. Okay, we're going to do pl- two player. That single player on hard is hard. Is a good challenge. Yeah, it is a good challenge. You want when you have a single player game, you and with AI, you wanted to range from very easy kids to really hard and try to pee with no assistance please okay okay so So go to two players there we go uh manual what is fx that's slow (coughs) scrolling and warp effects oh okay um yep no just the fx yes minnesota education computing consortium that's kevin o'leary is it no, we watched a M-E-C-C? documentary on that um, by um, the guy who does awesome video oh. game documentaries. Yep, do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see that? Yes. Oh my god. That's awesome. Oh. Oh. Are these going to eat? What Are these going to eat us? I hope so. Ah! Ha ha ha. Oh, they didn't move. <gasps> wow. Wow, the effects are awesome. Oh, they all little ghosties. Oh my god, they're so cool. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. Funny. You have to memorize where the things are. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Having them, oh, man. Having them hit the playfield is really good. Especially with disappearing. Well, some disappear and some don't. Yeah, different... This is really advanced for a first timer on the 2600. What what other platforms have you programmed for? What oh. other gaming platforms? Ooh, what was that it's noise? crunchy. Oh, okay. I'm whoa, little... whoa, whoa! It's, it's like we're in lava. Whoa! This is like demo ah. scene style. This is so stuff. cool. Whoa! That was a good effect. Yeah. Is it random effects? Oh, it is. Oh my God! So. The effects are random on the screen. Some go in and out, some ripple. Oh my god. This screen should be called Bad Trip. Yeah. Oh, you can yeah. steer your shots. Yeah. Did you know that? You can steer your shots on some some shots. Some? This this type of <laughs> shot. Oh, oh gotcha. <laughs> oh, needles. But not as fast as you can move, so it just assists a little bit. Just a tiny amount. Oh, that's so good! Oh, <laughs> oh my whoa. goodness! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh, my hands get sore. Oh my goodness! It's so good! Oh, it's double effects. That one was ripple and movement. It is. Uh, this is not for someone who's taking psychedelics. <laughs> no, you'd be. Oh man! Having some trouble. 
Oh. Oh, did I do that? I think I might have hit it a couple of times. Oh, you ended it. You get AI or effects, not both at the same time. Okay. Did I do that? I yeah, think I you... did. Oh, no, you hit 20. Oh, I got 20. Okay. No. Oops, I can do it too. Too much tapping, quite possibly. Too much tap. No, I got 20 points, I think. Uh, so let's do fast. Manual FX. I like the FX. Yeah, the FX are amazing. Good yeah, one. good job. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, I did it again. What is happening with you? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's moving. It Gotta moving. be careful. Getting in close so you can't I dodge know. it. Oh, man. That's my new tactic. I Getting noticed. close. Getting close so you can't uh, dodge it. Just smash into you? Yeah, but then we both lose a point there. Oh, but if I'm ahead, yeah, you you're stay ahead. gonna die. Oh. That means I get 20 quicker. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna smash into you till like we get to 20. Yeah. I found a tactic. <laughs> Sometimes I'll shoot. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Some of these screens we haven't seen before. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, double elimination. Uh, oh. Oh no! <laughs> well, I need four more points. I'm gonna track you down. Oh no! found a counter to my... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Let you uh -oh. run into the walls? Yes. Yes. That's your tactic. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Things are not going well for me now. Uh, I wouldn't say that. You're so ahead. <laughs> By quite a bit. Uh, uh, crunchy, uh, crunchy. Yeah, I have to open up that joystick. Damn it! Losing my lead! Oh, what's <laughs> happening? I blame my sickness. That or the controller. Uh, oh, oh, you got goodness. wiggles. I don't have wiggles. <laughs> Much harder for me. No, I'm gonna die. Ugh. I have to smash into you. No! <laughs> Whoa, sandcastle. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no! <laughs> All right. Ah! Wiggles. No! <laughs> Last oh my goodness. Point. Unbelievable. One point. Unbelievable. Oh no. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so, the, the FX feature is fantastic. Some t statistics on this. 32K 4F bank switch game. Uses stock 2600 hardware. No extra RAM or ARM processor. One, two, or zero player modes. So if you can get it to zero player and show that off. Up or down, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, multiple flight modes and speed options, four ship types, a thousand and twenty-four screens. Ooh. That's why we kept seeing new ones. A thousand and twenty-four screens. Flashy title screen, I would say so. Large flashy animated explosions. Um, <laughs> manual slow. I would put on some. some so things. wait, this is no player. No players. And then there's EX and EX plus. So. They're both exhibition modes, so what is no EX? Uh, hmm. Oh, I see. Normal computer opponents, no max score, or only engine sounds, exhibition mode plus, all sound effects enabled. Well, we want that, don't we? All the sound effects, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So this is the AI playing the AI. I love it. Uh, full screen scrolling, warping, and rumble effects. Fully couch compliant with match tap out. It is it is couch compliant. You're able to end yeah. the game, yep. go back to the menu. He uh, just said you, you have to wait until the until <clears throat> the um uh, screensaver screen. Right. Yeah. Um, the only thing that it 
doesn't isn't couch compliant is the left and right difficulty for hitting the hey what are you doing i want to see it on fast oh okay there you go left right up down oh you have to wait for the screensaver keep oh there you go no, no. not the button it's up down left right uh, Sorry. consistent 276 lines in NTSC. A lot of lines. It's a tall game. Functional black and white and difficulty switches. Oh, we didn't do the black and white. Fast shot plus. Oh, there. Black and white. I need to clean that, obviously. Maybe couch compliant bronze level. <laughs> bronze. Are no. there different? Yeah, there, there could be different standards. <laughs> um, it gets crazy. It explodes forever. Oh yeah, that's, oh, that's yeah. action Here right there. Go. Can they shoot each other? Oh, they can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The AI is very well done. Mm -hmm. Like, look at it, able to dodge. <laughs> look at it, no human could do that. Get in there. I want to be able to set my game to black and white without getting off the couch. <laughs> he, could, he could add that into the menu system yeah. <laughs> somewhere. Hi. Hi, bad cat. It's just cat butt everywhere today. EX yeah. plays forever. Okay. Yeah. No EX is regular game with computer <laughs> players. Um, this game is, is like he said, he, he called it combat killer to me. Mm. And, and I would say, I, 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 can you get him? He's doing bad things. This, by the way, we found under the couch, and now we know him. Yes, because he's Why? very happy to Why? be doing bad things. Oh, so um, really fun game. Amazing. With one or two players. Yes. And it's a great screensaver, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God, it's so low on my screen. <laughs> it goes right to the bottom. Oh, yes, I would definitely shift this up. If you're going to do an, um, an update to this... It is oh, right at the screen. bottom. Yeah, yeah. Like shift up your uh, draw code um, to start earlier. To um, <laughs> depending on his code, he's probably executing code at the top. Oh, I see. So he would have to shift code into different parts. Mm -hmm. So depending on how tight it is, just try holding reset down. For the changing the color? Oh. Oh, it changes all the colors. Oh, it changes. It flips screens. Changes everything. You're jumping forward. Neat. Yeah. So you can look at all the different screens. Nice. Wow, there's a lot of screens. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to draw 1,024 screens? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That is a lot. Um, highly recommended game. Yeah, it's really cool. It's super fun. Yeah, I love the variety. I love the var variety of ships and their shot types are different. The backgrounds. I absolutely love the animated screens the where they come in and out and they screen shakes and yes, it feels like there's a lot to it. A height. Um, what do I want to say? An Atari game with a bit extra. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, like a little bit of it's the like... sensibilities of a more modern game with some of those effects. Yeah, um, like it would be like it's really cool a retro game on a new system, like yes. with these effects that you wouldn't see on old systems, but yep. it is on the system. Yeah, yeah, like, it's really cool. Yeah, Damn, polish. Polish. That's the word. It'd be nice to have an attract screen polish, yeah. with the moving backgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Think of it as 1977 plus. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There you go. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's really it's, nice. It plays really well. It's really fun. Advanced combat. It's always nice to have. So. Uh, one in AI and two player game, so you can play with two people too. Yeah, and you're able to scale down one person yeah. and scale up the other. Yeah. So that you can, if you're playing with somebody who's not advanced or is really advanced, you'll be able to even it out a bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, Philip, what are your plans? I think he said that he would like to get it put on cartridge, so mm. I guess that's his immediate plans is to try and get that done. I read pol polish as Polish at first. I was confused. Well, it's the beginning word of a sentence, so yeah. <laughs> that's why it was capitalized. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to move on to the second game of the night, which is also uh, an exclusive world premiere.
So this game is, let me get to the info, Aliens, Plasma Guns, and Chewing Gum. And what do I have here? Ooh, chewing Some gum. chewing gum for us to share. These ones are huge. Oh, I love them. Banana. Oh, oh splitting it? Yeah. So we got to have our chewing gum. Yeah. <clears throat> it is by uh, Keachia Erandi uh, Erandi. I had to look up the name, how to pronounce it. Keatia, Keata, Keata, Keate, Keate. It's so hard to. Keate? Keate. Irani. Irani. I can't roll ours, so Irani. Yeah. All out of bubble gum. No, we have one left. So. <laughs> Not quite at that stage where we're shooting. Try saying kettle. Kettle? Kettle. Ketcha? Ketcha. Ketcha. Well. He knows how to say his own name. Oh, kettle! <laughs> hey, retro gamer. <laughs> <laughs> kettle. I did look it up, and one said kettle. Really? And then this other one said, "Oh, the Norwegian way of pronouncing it is kiatja, kiatja, kiate, kiate." I don't know. It's best in the original Klingon. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this build is from today, 16K game, um, uh, Magovina, Magovina. Mm. It was, is his name on the Atari age forums. Mm -hmm. um, also made Coarse Blade, which we played on the show as well. Mm. Um, and he said, I've finished my second uh, Atari 2600 game. If you'd like to try it on your show, I have a playable version attached to this message. This will be the first time anyone has ever heard about the game, as I have not yet posted anything in the forums yet. So this is unseen. Um, so let us play this game. Let's load it up. Very long name for a game. Probably one of the longest. It's pretty cool. Aliens, plasma guns, and chewing gum. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh, he's chewing gum. Tight oh. Look at him chewing gum. Nobody can see it. Oh, no. There nothing, we go. Nothing happened yet. There we go. It, it loops. So it's he's so chewing. cute. He's chewing, and he blows a bubble. Wow. And it, and it explodes on his face. I love oh, it. Oh, my God. Nice. Absolutely amazing. And then there's all the uh, aliens, the aliens. And I'm guessing he's holding a plasma gun. Mm -hmm. And it's great graphics. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like a 2600. It looks like more like a 7800 game. And any references to They Live are good with us. That's right. We're here. Mm -hmm. Oh, woo! Catnip time! Before we get started, party time for kittens! Are you excited? You want some? Okay, let's give it. I would to the like cat. some, please. Yeah, you want some? Yum, 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 yum. Just a little bit. I do want to. I, I, I do almost want to give him a bell to ring, because I miss the bell ringing. Oh, I miss the bell ringing too. We have too. to figure something out there. We haven't been able to figure anything out with. Other him. than adopting another cat. Yeah. <laughs> and then teaching that cat to yes, ring the bell. Yes. There you go. Party, Party time. time. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> okay. Jump into it. Let's do it. So you gonna flip it? Oh. That's right. I need to see it. Okay. Good luck and get ready. And warped into it. Okay, I have. Um, I don't think he gave me any instructions. Let me just double check. Do you need them? Yeah. Not Shoot really. and kill the aliens and apparently chew some bubblegum along the way. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did. My mistake. Okay, so I will read out these instructions. An a ancient alien race only mentioned the Necronomicon has arrived at our doorstep and started abducting people from around the globe. Oh, no. oh the what Necronomicon. What is with all the alien abduction going on right now? I know. They warned us on YouTube about I know, this. They did warn us on YouTube. <clears throat> humankind, is, <laughs> humankind is threatened, and our only real hope of defeating the enemies. Whoa, nice skull. Get stuck in the corner. Oh, you got hit. Did I? Yeah, your ship oh, got no, smaller. Oh, no, I didn't see. Um, a real, only real hope of defeating the enemies is a specially trained group of soldiers with a particular taste for advanced weaponry and green glowing chewing gum. Funny. Oh, They're, is that what the great, big green block is? Yeah. You have to, oh, you oh. got hit again. Okay. They're led by a four-star general that goes by the name of Plasma Pete. Plasma Pete. There he is. Plasma Pete will occasionally hop in and give you directions and feedback on your progress during gameplay. Oh. 
<clears throat> oh my ship. god, I got hit. <laughs> ship controls. Move your ship left and right and shoot with the button. Either single shots or hold the button for auto fire. Auto fire. Very fast. Ah, oh, you missed it. Well, it's better to... Auto fire isn't always the best for it, time. It isn't. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, better luck next time. One more time. Wow, Atari cleared out that catnip fast. Yeah, he's not even rolling around yet. What? Oh, he moved it over. Well, he hasn't had catnip in a while. He had to go to cat jail. Poor cat in cat well, jail. Um, while we were away in L.A. Oh, you got hit. The bullets oh. don't go right down to your ship, so you have to be very careful. Yeah. Um, if I had one piece of feedback, it would be nice yeah. to see the ship, like, explode. Oh, have a feedback of Because hurt. it's so quick when you get hit. And it continues, right? Yeah. It doesn't stop. So some sort of... Even just the same animation of when you hit the alien, so it's immediate. Because I think he just flashes when he gets hit. Yeah, I don't know if there's audio feedback. I'll just, I'll turn there is off. audio feedback. It okay. does make a noise. But some... Something some just explosion. to make it really obvious that you just got hit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Continue get the gum. On. Got the gum. Got the gum. Was that what it was? Yeah. Extra gum. Got to get the green gum. Rewards. You will encounter packs of chewing gum flying by. That's right. Shoot them to upgrade your ship and your firepower. Ooh. Oh, it is. It is upgraded firepower. Oh, nice. Nice. Aliens. Some of the aliens you will encounter require several shots before they die. They will glow red each time they're hit that was before the, they explode. The, this oh, look at your ship. This guy. Upgraded. Ah, oh, no! Hit. No! You got hit again. Stop getting hit. Yeah, he's the one who's, who goes red. So, like, flashing the ship red would would be enough, right? Just He does Just... flash white very briefly. Oh, oh I got ship? I got an extra life back, so there is some score a thousand. Well, we'll find out. A thousand? Must be a extra thousand. Extra life. Each time you've collected 1,000 points, all your lives are restored. <gasps> so that's a big bonus. Ooh. Oh, no, no. Get no, it. No. Oh, ah, he's hard. Oh, he got hit. He's hard. Oh, his bullets turn red, too, when you hit him, so it's hard yes. to see. Oh, the ship will flash white. Okay, so it does yeah. indicate you. It, it it does. Uh, maybe I just like dramatic deaths. <laughs> More dramatic, okay. Yeah. You got hit. <clears throat> um, is there a, um, a, a limitation as to why the bullets don't go right down to the ship? I'm, I'm guessing... They're pretty close. <laughs> uh, it, not super close. When I was playing it before the show, I was like, why am I dying? Mm. But I can see it now while you're playing that the bullets do hit you, except, except that you're tall. I think you're at your tallest mm, ship. See. Even though you're not tall, mm. it still pretends you're tall. Yeah, that's that's fair. So it might be like if bullet gets to this height, then you're then you're hit. Then you get hit. So that makes sense. Yeah. I love that. Great visual effects on the game tonight. I do. Yep. Yeah. This like, is fun. This is a lot of fun. I really like. Beyond. I really like uh, whatever that second Polish. alien is. Polish. Uh, <laughs> And him flashing red, ah, and he okay. circles around. Yes. Reminds me of the um, oh, Satan's Hollow. The devil, devil in Satan's Hollow. Yep. Big fan, big fan. Big fan of Satan's Hollow. Yeah, who doesn't like Satan's Hollow? Well, I don't know. Maybe some people. Some just, religious just, people. just one of the few. Religious people should like that game. You're, you're fighting against Satan. It's like it's like uh, being a religious metalhead. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's all part of the lore. <laughs> um, or D and D. You're fighting bad guys in D and D. Exactly. You're the good know. guys, but they just don't like magic. So that's why. Well, Even though it's magic in the Bible. So weird. Uh, so depends weird. On, on, on your flavor. Your True. flavor of religious belief. Um, oh, you, you, have, you, have, you have a pointy... Uh, Double upgrade. Nice. Need more heart, though. Uh, I need to get almost to a thousand. Yay! Almost! So close! Yay! Got all my health back. Hey, the D-Train! He just got here. What did he miss? You he missed, missed the game! Um, a game, an excellent game. Combat type game. Yeah. Really, really nice. Yep. Lots of polish. And now we are playing uh, plasma uh, guns and chewing gum. What is it again? <laughs> Aliens, plasma. Aliens, plasma guns, and chewing gum. Oh, oh see, oh, this, this guy I like. Tough. This guy I like. Yep. 
Oh, you are getting bigger. Look at my bullet. You look more like, like an ship. alien. Wow. I like really it. morphing my ship. Oh my god, I got oh, knocked out. Oh no, of and you lose all your all your bonus. Yeah. Oh. My cool looking ship. I'll have to earn it back. Great job! Keep it up! Thanks, General. Oh my god! Oh my goodness, you want to level! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, these are tough. Because they're shooting and. It's so hard. They keep blocking me. All right, oh you want to get right above your heart and shoot. Yep. There you go. That was hard. Nice. That was a very hard one. When I was practicing, I never made it past that. I feel like he's shooting pine cones. <laughs> Could be. Pine cones, pineapples. Maybe they're bigger. Very they would do a lot. They would do a lot. Pineapple more weapons. Yeah. Pine cone weapons. Aliens are... Oh, it says Chalcedony <clears throat> Mouth. So the more power-ups, the bigger the ship. Probably at full height, oh the enemy bullets would look like they it's did Cthulhu. yet. Yes. It is Cthulhu! Oh my goodness! That's oh amazing. my god, what is he dropping? I don't know. It's amazing you can make a 2600 game recognizable Cthulhu. Wow, nice explosion. I need more health. I need oh, my got third. to get to 3,000. You're almost there. Okay, good. Almost there. Of all the bonus levels where you're fighting the bosses, oh, there's there. really so unique. Close. Yay! Health Yay, is back. Yay! Full health. <gasps> Get that gun. Rescue the abductees. Uh oh, what? Okay. Oh, what? Do I have to rescue catch them? them. Okay, I made a nice sound. Oh, I just have to rip. Okay, he's not shooting at me, but I have to shoot him. I'm guessing you have to shoot. Okay, he's going red. Oh, they're splatting. Poor guys. Oh, I can't shoot them. No. Oh my god, this is gonna be very hard. How am I supposed to shoot? There you go. <sighs> Poor guys, I shot us so if many of them. If they fall, you don't lose any points or lives. Oh, okay. Um, well, what if I don't shoot them and just keep collecting? But you get a lot of points for collecting them. Ooh, so. I should have just not shot him. Yeah, you could have. I mean, maybe it ends at a certain point, but... Oh, it may just end, yeah. Does it end? That, that... Yeah, it's a good question. Oh, back to the ships again. Have I looped around? Um, well, I mean, this is always the main level. Yeah. And you have special, special, um, aliens to kill. Ah, got hit. Damn it. 47. Not going, not good to go into the next level with low health. Oof, this is so hard. Especially when it's red, I can barely see the bullets. Oh, it's so hard to hit. But he does drop his bullets at a regular rate, so if you're able to time it up, mm. it's not as bad. Solaris is pretty cool. I like the variety. I think yes. it's cool too. You need. Oh my god, I got hit again, and I just made it to 5,000. Variety is what you need when you have... Uh, Retro Gamer says you have looped around, so you're, okay. you're going back through. Yep. Okay. Uh, Vitoko, oh, if the I game don't. is unable to draw the falling nullets at the uh, same height as the ship, the spaceship should get bigger to the bottom, not the top. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Vitoko says, yeah. That's a good tip. Kind of gorfy. Yes. Very oh, gorfy. yes. Actually, yes. it is very gorfy. Yeah. Good observation. That is... Nullets. A, Bullets, yes. That, that is makes a more great... <laughs> A great idea. Mm -hmm. Doko's a great programmer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you draw it always starting at the top. And then drawing down. And then get it bigger going down. Yeah. Rather than the other way up. Yeah. Skull chain chain shape is an illusion of its movement. Mm. The bullets are sprites. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Because there's such variety of looks to them. Is the skull... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's an illusion. Well, I don't know. Is it was it an animation? Oh, it might I, be the illusion of it of I mean, the those circular are movements. Animated, not that one. Yeah, the skull though. The oh, skull with the horns, right? The that enemies. goes around. Yeah. Did I see that one? I don't remember that one. <laughs> I don't remember that one. I do. That one dropped uh, people on you. Oh, I'm so I was so concentrated on surviving. Yep, yeah, as a game, as you should. Uh, really fun. Uh, lots of variety. Mm-hmm. 
Um, pretty pretty challenging. Love the concept. Love the yep. bubblegum chewing uh, soldier at oh, the, the beginning. Graphics are <laughs> really good. I love yep. the encouraging words from your sergeant. That is nice. As you go a through. Interstitial. Yeah. Yeah. Saying, hey, keep it up. Good work. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Great stuff. Thank you so much for yes, letting us Retro Gamer uh, 1975. debut it. And thank you for being in the chat. Yes. Um, if there's anything else that we need to check out in the game. Um, and, uh, oh, and you can um, download this. Let me just make sure. Megavinia.itch.io is it on the website? Megavina, yeah. Megavina. I got notes about that actually. Oh, he has completely fallen asleep now. Oh. Oh. Too much. Not yet. Since Not yet. Together. Okay. Yeah, the soldier's <laughs> yeah. chewing bubble gum. Yeah. It's like you can see him chewing it, blowing a bubble, it exploding. On his face. Yeah. That's oh my fantastic. God. It's such good animation. We'll publish soon. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Okay. So watch Duke out. Duke Nukem. For that. Yep. <laughs> well, Duke Nukem got it from They Live. Everyone got it from They Live. <laughs> yeah. So many things got it from They Live. Oh. So the next thing is also an exclusive world premiere. It's Ninja Blob. So this is Ninja Block by Mirsad Saralika, also known as Kiki PDPH, on the Atari Age forums. It's a 32k game. First posted about it June 5th, 2024 mm -hmm. on Atari Age. This one is from June 8th. It's a 32k game. Let me switch screens. Good night, Nostalgic. Good night, Nostalgic. Thanks for staying up, checking out new games. Um, I was very excited to play this game, so I asked him if I could play this game, and he said yes. Oh, nice. Because I loved his Karamuho game. Oh, Karamuho. Amazing graphics, and he mm -hmm. knocks it out of the park again with these graphics. If you want to um, go for it, load it up. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. Yeah. no. No? Do not Wrong load one? it up. Wrong one? This is a port. Yes, we did, we did specifically uh, start chewing gum, which I'm going to now swallow because... I'm drinking beer and yeah, banana we, gum and beer is not the greatest. <laughs> not a good combo. Mix. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is actually a port of a game. Um, and, um, let me just get to it because it's quite interesting. Um, so this Aww. game is a port of a game called Shuruken Block by Dong Nguyen. 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 No Nguyen. G. Nguyen. 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 <laughs> Um, from 2013, it is the same developer made Flappy Bird. Mm. And do you know oh, the really? story behind Flappy Bird? Not really, no. It's quite interesting. Really? So just a, just a snippet of what the story is. Mm. Uh, Flappy Bird was removed from both the App Store and Google Play Store about nine months after it was put in there. Mm. Nguyen New, claiming he felt guilty over what he considered to be the game's addictive nature wow. and overusage. Wow. And then after that, phones with the game on them went for huge amounts of money because you can no longer put it on the phone. Oh, really? Like for iPhones. Okay, um, iPhones, yeah. For Google, you could sideload it, but iPhones is like, oh, this this phone has Flappy Bird on it. Wow. Um, so let's just take a, a quick look at the uh, original game. And this is, I believe, uh, another iOS game proto nft there you go <laughs> yeah, that's a bit better. <laughs> i don't know what that green scrolling thing is at the bottom <laughs> so um you have to stop. We have to the shoot the shurikens. Okay. From hitting. Oh. <laughs> the top of people's heads. So it, it is this a 
like a, a tap, tap phone game. A tap phone game. Okay, so you're just yeah. tapping it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the blood. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so it's funny. Let's just read the manual beforehand. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go load it. Too late, the oh. D train. Too late. Too late for what? <laughs> I've already swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years. Seven oh. years in my stomach. That's just selling us. <laughs> There we go. So let's take a look at the instructions. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so for the Atari 2600 Ninja Block instruction manual, long ago, it's great artwork. It's beautiful. It is. Long ago in the distant realm of Nippon, three brave samurai and two skilled ninjas stood before the mighty wall of an ancient temple. Without their weapons, they were exposed to danger, a mysterious ninja from the shadows continuously hurled dead, deadly shurikens, eh, attempting to break their defense. Your mission is to protect them. Using Usually you don't protect ninjas, but you must be the ultimate ninja. Your mission is to protect them There's using a, a magical soul. barrier yeah. that you can move left and right. You uh -huh. prevent the shurikens from hitting your warriors. However, only when you press the fire button on the joystick does the barrier become strong enough to mm. stop the shurikens. Defend our heroes from the relentless attacks and ensure peace in the realm. Show your skills. Be quick and precise, for the fate of our brave warriors lie in your hands. Game manual. Welcome to the world of Ninja Block. Get ready to become the master and protect the brave warriors from deadly shurikens falling from the sky. Here's a quick guide to how to become the best protector in this ancient realm. Use left and right joystick to move the barrier left and right. Press the fire button to activate the barrier's power and stop the shurikens. Game objective. Your goal is to protect the three brave samurais and two skilled ninjas mm -hmm. from the deadly shurikens that continuously fall. If a shuriken passes through your defense, it's any of the warriors, you lose one life. The game has three lives. If you lose all lives, the game is over. Difficulty settings on the Atari 2600. The left difficulty switch controls the si size of the magical barrier, while the right switch controls the barrier's speed. Ooh, okay. Um, I'll adjust these settings according to your skills and preferences. Points are awarded based on the height from which you successfully stop a shuriken. The lower the shuriken, the more points you earn, so they're more difficult to stop when they mm. only go up so high. Points are awarded per height, 50, 60, 70, and 80 points. Become the master of ninja block. Uh, react quickly and, become, and be precise in your defense. The fate of brave warriors in your hands. Good luck. Oh, who's that? Thanks to James. Oh. Okay. That's Aww. so nice. Um, so Mirsa, Mirsa did the package design. It's oh, beautiful. A great artist. Yeah, I he's, love it. Uh, rivaling VHZC there. Oh, that's some nice artwork. Don't tell VHZC. Oh, shh, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> that I like somebody else's artwork. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Why's that light vibrating? Okay, let's get to the game. Load it on up. Now. Um, Mirsad said his best score is 4,630. Oh, you're perfectly on. Oh, I have to hit it. Whoops. 4,630 on difficulty BB, which we're what? on. How? Yeah. Press the button. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's, it's working. very short. Oh, yeah, really short. Okay, that took. So you press it when it's on it, not before on it. it. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. You got to do over. Well, you. It's. The graphics in this are astounding. Um, he's got bricks. He's got roof tiles. He's got trees in behind. He's got five different characters along the bottom, triplicates and duplicates. But there's two colors. Just like his little snail guy. Um, there's there's so many colors on the same line. He's using Playfield, I believe, in combination with those um, characters to color their faces and hands. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? It's not precise enough. <laughs> it's on fast. Maybe I can set it to slow? Uh, no, no. Okay. It's fine. It's just I can't move it a short distance. No, you have to tap it. Oh, Too terrible. Early. <laughs> yeah, the uh It's quick. Got to be a quick 
This could warrior. totally be a paddle controller game, I think. Uh, paddle changes the game, but it could be a paddle game. Or a... What is the other controller? Driving controller. Driving controller. It could be a driving controller game. Yeah. Yeah, great sound effects, yeah. So cute. But I do agree, those ninjas like the... seem rather um, useless. <laughs> They're just standing there. The blood splat as an animated wipe. Nice detail, 8-bit poet. Oh, I'll have to look for that. Sometimes you miss these really nice details that um, developers put in. Oh yeah, it goes down the screen. It doesn't just appear. <laughs> it smears down the screen. Oh. Terrible timing. Is the end? Oh, three how many? Lives. How many? Oh, three lives. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was one life for some reason. I didn't realize that yeah, the score was rolling over. Oof, the Lurley. Did it? Did it? I can, I can hear a delay sound effect when you catch a shuriken. That might be our sound going through the microphone. I'll turn it down. Uh, BR Pokoff says, I honestly, honestly thought that was a mock-up when I first saw it, and I thought someone didn't realize it wouldn't work on the 2600. It's that good. It is. It does not look like a 2600 game. The, Especially the roof oh. tiles. Why am I so bad? Ah. Trying to just figure out... Yeah, he's done a really clever job on those roof tiles. Because he's changing how he draws. And they're shaded too, like there's shade under the roof, the roof overhang is shade. And there's bricks in it. And that top brick is a different color than the lower bricks. Nice. It's slightly darker because it's in the shade. Unbelievable. Yeah, he, like, if you looked at his Caramujo game, that has astounding graphics. Absolutely astounding graphics. And this is no exception as well. Um, great font on the score, too. Oof. You can do it multiple times. You can hammer the button if you want. Oh, big points for that one. I'm going to do it much better. Oh, oh splat. Oh, that was pretty good. I pretty good run. Shouldn't have said you were doing much better. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> uh, you do have to get the timing right. How are you feeling? <clears throat> um, eh, my voice is pretty Ugh. bad. Three, one, four, oh, that you didn't beat right. his score. That was all right. So the score I am going for, um, uh, four, four, six, three, oh. Four, six, three, oh. Oh, that's doable. Um, uh, 8-bit says what determines the point value. So there's a height. So sometimes the throw is short. Mm. And you get more mm. points for that, so. Yeah. Yeah. So if it only goes up a little bit, that makes it a lot harder to yeah. get because you have to get to it quickly. Yeah, it's very short time period from when it's thrown and when you have to block it, so. Sometimes they go right to the top and sometimes they kind of just go halfway. See, that's way up, so it's a yeah. low one. It's and it starts, 50. it starts with the high throws. Yeah, ramps. And then the ninjas on the other side of the wall <laughs> get wise to the fact that it's too easy to block it, and so they start showing, throwing them a little lower. Yep. So none of them are getting through. Don't I love the so blinking high. eyes and the moving hands for the the great animation. Ninjas in black. I, I that is incredibly cute. Yeah, the detail in this game is it's so is cute. really good. Oh my goodness. So those aren't going as high. So you mm. get sixty for those. That one's a fifty. That one's a sixty. <clears throat> yeah, good sound effects too. Boop, boop, boop. And the falling sound. Yep. But only when it gets close. Yep. Can't hear it far off, only when it gets close. Yeah, you're getting those shorter ones. Yeah. Which are big that points. Which 70. Is great. Yeah, you got 70 for those. 
don't have as much time to react. So would yeah. this work on the twenty six hundred plus? Uh, I would have to see what most likely, but I'd I'd have to look at what um, bank switching it uses. Like it's not it's not a CDFJ game, so. Are you saying you can't play the game and look up what bank switching it uses at the same time? I could try. <laughs> I would fail <laughs> very badly. Oof, oof, 80s are, 80s are tough. Um, a tactic is not to move. Because sometimes they're in the same spot. Yeah. It's one in five chance of being you, in the you, same spot. You don't want to move until you see where it is. See, I didn't need to move for that one. But you got to move immediately. And the nice thing is you don't have to be centered completely beneath it. No. Because the joystick is a little bit hard to get it exactly. Yeah. And that's part of the gameplay. Centered, is to, is yeah. To get it right to get it close as long as it's touching so what were what you going for oh, i've already beaten it yeah i was gonna say you're at five thousand. good job I'm an expert player oh no and of course i die as soon as i see that yeah. you that was my first lives. life uh sort of like a reverse crackpots except yes. the shurikens don't come multiple at a time yeah in the ios game they do mm. but you only have to touch the screen <laughs> true You can move and shoot. So, oh, damn it. Oh, poor guy. So if you're not right on it, you can move and shoot. Are those its te their teeth? They go, yeah, they're grinning because they didn't... Maybe they're like, Ugh. They're like, they're ah! No, they're cringing. <laughs> yeah. Cute. They're so cute. Wow, ah. that was a heck of a splat. Yeah. There we go. 6810. I nice. beat the developer. So there are some options for this game. <laughs> and I think one of them makes your um, block, your, your shield smaller. Mm. And it actually slows you down. So it might be easier to move it. Definitely not e like the slowness. Oh yeah, definitely makes it easier to move it. But you can't get over as fast. Oh, you have to be centered a little bit more too. Oh, in this, yeah. I wonder if you can switch it mid-game. Probably not. Oh, again. <laughs> I'm not going to play in the small one. <laughs> I thought those were their eyes getting all wide with terror. That's possible too. Oh, I thought it was Let teeth. Let me see it again. Well, oh, their eyes. eyes and teeth. Yeah. Some, some, some are cringing and some, some are have big eyes. Yeah. Hey, hey. Dude. 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 Don't you I am. He's purring. Oh, you thinking about He's thinking treats? about doing something bad. Purr. He's making some purr. calculations up there. Figuring out what to do next. I'm going to try that. Seems like it'll cut cause you hand pain after a while. It would. You have to get an auto <laughs> auto fire joystick. Yeah, there you go. Because you can't hold it down. No, you can't. Once you get up to the level I was at around what is it, five thousand or six thousand? Yeah, it gets really hard because you get some ninety point ones that you have no time to get to. Oh yeah, they're fast and short. This is easier on A for a. positioning. The bigger one. Um, well, you can make a smaller or bigger yeah. shield, but the other option is a slower or faster moving. Oh, I see. The I slower see. one is easier to position. Yeah. But you can't get over as fast, so I think it's going to fail in the high levels. You could be right. Easier to get through the first parts, but harder for the, the following ones. Yeah. So it's probably better to... Um, practice and just work with the fast one so you get more accurate with it. Is he attacking no, Bernie? Don't leave Bernie alone. Leave Bernie alone. No. Oh, he's so mad. He's so mad. He's like, I want to eat that. I want to eat that snail. <laughs> he's not a snail. He's a Bernie. He? 
Oh, he's a he's a slug. Is he a slug? He's a slug. I don't think he's. No, he's a slug. He's not okay. a snail. He doesn't have a. Doesn't have a shell. Doesn't have a shell. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna play till fail mm. on the slow moving one to see how it performs on the high levels. <sighs> not well. <laughs> that was my fault. I was under. I was in the position, but I. Just didn't make it the right spot. Are there other stages? No, I think it just gets no. faster. Just gets faster. And, and a little harder. Because it's based on a game that already exists, and the other game is just this. Mm. But if you look at the other game, it starts to throw... score game. Oh my God. It is harder. Um, yeah, it's a pure score game. Mm. So it just gets faster and faster and faster and faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we will move on to the last game of yes? the night. Is it, is it a, a oh. world premiere? Oh, we forgot to give away the uh, coaster. Oh, yes. Coaster time. Is anyone Let's looking for a shiny coaster? Yeah. So for their beverage, their beer, yes. their coffee, We have got their workstation. a stack of them. Did you steal They're right them? right here. I have them right here. I've been making new ones because I am down to the last three of the first round of awards. Oh. That's and good. then of that first round of awards, there are a few I have to redo, okay. but it's looking very promising. It's very close to being completely done. Good. So as mm. I'm making the awards, I have a little bit of excess resin, and I've been making some coasters. Good. So we've got a few here. Shall I show them off? Um, or will, shall we show them no. off after? We'll show them off after while people guess, because okay. this is not an easy one. Uh, so wait, wait, can wait. you see? No, you can't see. Wait, that's wait. okay. Wait, wait, sit back. No, I was going to put put them there, but that's okay. Oh, you can put them on the 2600 if you clear those cartridges off. I can off. put them down here. Can uh, you see them down there? No. no. If I clear the cartridges off. Can you see no. them here? No, put the cartridges off the 2600. Oh, up here. And then put them on the 2600. And then I'll switch over to the cat cam. Okay. So we have a few. Oh, put them beside the cat. Uh, how many did you put on there? Five? Six. Oh, move the other one to the bottom. This one? Far left, yeah. Can you see them? Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah. Can you see the, they're all, so they all have a holographic top. I feel like this one. Needs to be down there. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Okay. I will show them in close detail. Is it, yeah, Tari is, is wondering if there's catnip on him. He does. He does get his catnip on, on coasters sometimes. So I have a more difficult question. Um, but the people are not allowed to answer this, are not allowed to win our previous winners. Okay. Nostalgic, S. Ramirez, Vitoko, Thomas Yench, Gamma Dev, Double Down, Nop90, and uh, Mave M. Why is that Mave? It's supposed to be Dave. Dave M. A. Z. Dave M. A. Z. Yes. Um, so, yeah, you can't get that. D Train can uh, win one. So, you the question see? is... Yes. What are you doing? No. The toko just wanted to see... Oh, close up? Oh, no, the right side face, up. face the right way around. That's a good idea. There you go. So, the first person to answer this question wins the coaster. A coaster, your choice. A coaster, yeah, your choice. Um, what punk band have I maintained the website for for 28 years? <laughs> I have uh helped out this punk band by having their website yes from the infancy of the internet <laughs> yeah yes. 28 years ago yep um no oh. not no effects good good guess yeah um it's it's smaller than no effects they're, yeah <laughs> they're not as well known as no effects but they're not unknown let's say that not not a local band or something that yeah. you've never heard of I mean, well, you've probably never heard of them, but somebody them. might have heard of them in the chat. Hey, hey, if you're get a punk that fan, if you're a, punk, if you're a fan. punk fan, oh, you can make as many guesses yes. as you want. Yeah, Atari Teenage Riot. Ah, that would be, it's a good guess. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, we'll give hints. So yeah. if you get, if you have no clue, you can always try and look it up. I will give the first hint because yes. I think that it's too hard. It's a Canadian punk band. Yeah. Um, so it took like a year before they, I, I got in contact with them. Mm -hmm. Cause remember, this is the infancy of the internet. Mm -hmm. They didn't have like, most of the band members did not have an email address and they didn't know how to use the internet. 
I think you should give all three hints because I think it's going to be very hard. So oh, I may. Well, yeah, okay. I think you should give all three hints. The last hint is going to give it super. Well, easy. if people know it, but then you you're welcome. DOA, good guess. Good Canadian guess. band, Vancouver. Um, not it. Not it. They're not Vancouver. Yeah. But they were formed in 1977. Yes. So early second wave punk band. Um, they are Canadian, 77. Yeah. Not from Vancouver or BC. They're from Ontario. We'll give that hint. And Death from Above, 1979. Yeah. No. Undertones, no. Um, <clears throat> um, Demix, no, mm. good guess. Um, I've heard of the Demix. <laughs> um, okay. what, what city in Ontario? Yeah, I'll give that now. Uh, they're based in Hamilton, Ontario. The Vile Tones, good guess. <laughs> Um, that will give it away, hundred percent. If people start if, looking if you know it up, to, you think? Yeah. If you know how to use Google, yeah, the diodes. diodes. Uh, spell it out, Br Pocock. Oh. Oh, Chitlinla. Chitlinla. Oh no. Oh, Teenage no. Head is a good guess. Yeah. Oh no, Chitlinla gets it. Fr Fr is not good enough. Has to be the the name of it, mm. I, but you did get it, you you got it, but it wasn't the full name. Yeah. Chitlatla gets it. Yay! Congratulations! All right. I feel like I robbed BRP. You no. can you can give it to him if you want. Uh, I'm not eligible. Oh, he's not eligible. You oh. already have one. BR Pocock. Did we give? We him might one have personally? given him one. We might have given him one. At well, that some... makes it yeah. easier to give it to Chitlatla. Okay. All right. So we have five yep. options. Not five eligible. Options. So Sniper, sniper. Uh, yeah, just hold them up okay. one by one. So. And say, keep them in order. Yes, I will. Don't so go. We'll call this, this one. Number one. So all of these have a holographic um, surface. Yep. So this is uh, gold stars with zero page. Number one. Number one. Number two, a round zero page logo. Again, holographic. It's got a little bit of gold glitter in it. Chit la la. Type the number, number you want. Two. Number three, a uh, simple ZPH, again, black background with a little bit of gold glitter. All of them have a holographic look. I like that one the best. Six. This, this is the I'm snow one. I'm sorry, five. So this one I call the bubbles. It's got a blue background, it's got bubble glitter in it, and it's got a black zero page. I think it looks like snow. You think it looks like snow. I think it or looks snow and ice. very mermaidy. Uh, zero page with actually, so it's a black zero page. It's a little hard to see the zero page, but it has daisy glitter beneath it. Is that number four? Number, this is number five. Number five, okay. Number five. And number six, this is another round zero page, similar to the other one, slightly different holographic look on the top with gold sparkles in it. There you go. So again. <laughs> ZPH, not said. Chit Laval likes the second one. This one. Okay, yeah. just confirm that's the one you want, and I'll put your name on it. There we go. And then please contact me either through Twitch or preferably Atari Age um, with your the address you want me to send it to. All right. <clears throat> We'll see if we have some extras. We will bring them with us when we go to the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. Oh, in yes. case we run into anyone. And some stickers. I have to get stickers. Yes. Stickers remade. I thought you stickers. had a ton of them. I gave so many away. Really? At last year's PRGE. Nice. Oh, Great contact choice. John yes. AA. I think my neighbor uh, username is Ken Shee on there. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, so let's move on to the last game of the night. Uh, it is Altar's Lair, um, and this is uh, not available for download, but it is available for purchase to download mm. for eight euros. This version is uh, from June fourth. It's a thirty-two K game. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I'm sick. I'm sorry. Uh, so he says, I've been making video games for classic consoles and computers for quite some time. However, I haven't touched Atari circuits before. Mm. We have just finished our first Atari 2600 game, and I would like to share it with you. Oh, good night, D-Train! Good night! So let's load it up. Oh, does that help? Does that uh, help make, make sure you, s me. you still drink your water. So. I'll have some tea after. Okay, tea with honey. Uh, yeah, we do have honey, don't we? I think we do. 
I've never had it. Mm. No, probably the special bad. honey. It's well, it might not be now. bad. Actually, I might have thrown it out. So. Yeah, I was a old. Yeah. We got it for free, didn't we? You yeah. didn't buy it. No, I didn't. <clears throat> I was skeptical was of it. Okay. So if you want to move that down. Yep. Load it up. Oh, I've changed the graphic. Yep. Go for Altars it. Altar's Lair. Altar's Lair. Version 1. A terrible epidemic ravages the inhabitants of Echinor. Drying up their fields and turning its people to stone. <gasps> oh my god. Altar's Lair. Press fire. Very nice. Don't press fire. Only a young druid knows the origin of such a dreadful curse. <laughs> it is the legacy of Altar. The sorcery of an insidious wizard who hides in an ancient forgotten temple buried deep within the earth. His malevolent spell siphons the vital energy from the creatures on the surface to fuel his own power. Seeking his return to the realm of the living where he plans to rule with an iron fist. Terrible, terrible people. Armed with only an enchanted dagger and the strength of his will, mm. our hero ventures into the depths of the abyss, determined to face a legion of demons and uproot the source of this dreadful curse. Okay, jump into it and I'll tell you what to do. There you are. So that's locked. That looks like stairs. So move with the joystick. Okay. You can use the fire button to attack in the normal screens. You can't use it in the rooms where there are items or doors. Uh, in order to pass from one dungeon to another, you must find the exit door, which you can cross if you find the corresponding key, which you found very quickly. Do I want to find if there's other so stuff? So don't do anything yet. Okay. Well, no, do I want yeah. to check out the other rooms? Yeah, you kind of do. If there's but stuff? I need to tell you stuff before you go much further. Okay. With the select switch of the console, F1 and Stella, you can see the map of the level you're in. Oh, select. Uh, Are you okay? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I see. Not there's the dungeon. Compliant. Can somebody trigger not couch compliant? <laughs> so there's the dungeon of this one. It's just yeah. across. So you went down this time. Yeah. You can press the button to get out of it. Please make that number button number two on the. Thank you, retro gamer. I would suggest making joystick two the map. What is this? It's not killing me. Let me look. Uh, in each dungeon, there is an item that allows you to improve your skills. Eagle sword, longer than the dagger you start with. Did your dagger get longer? Oh, you can't do it in this screen. A manji sword, you can throw it by pressing your fire button. Life upgrades, heart, increase your maximum health mm. by one. A phoenix flower, might be that, yeah. allows you to resurrect once. Oh, yeah, so I can't use it because, oh. Okay. okay, you stun, move away, move away. Oh gosh, what do I do? Just hit him and then move away. And when he comes for you, hit him again. Uh, yay, gold. Yay, gold. gold! But you lost a health point. Oh. Boots of Elios. And go back down to that thing. Maybe it'll give you health. Oh, it did. It made you go back up to two. All right. So it's kind of health. So let's discover the other places. Uh, oh, do the same thing. Gold. Oh, hit points. Yay. Oh, that's hit points. Okay. It's hit points. Yeah, so you're at three now. Okay, Ring of Tigris increases the period of immunity to be hit. In each dungeon, there's also a room inhabited by a celestial. And as his presence, you recover all life. Well, that was the celestial. Maybe? Oh, why is Maybe. Th um, that's different. There's different stairs. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Random encounters. Oh, my God. You almost got hit. Head, you're too close. Fire much for either. No, earlier. I hit him, but I thought he didn't. Okay, so this I can't go through. Oh, that was the oh, I one. I guess that's the exit. So I've been everywhere here. I bet that's the exit. Oh, okay. I thought you, it was game over. It was the title screen. Can you hit the uh... tips and strategies? Oh, the maze. Yep. Ugh. Okay. Okay. It's there like a go. sword. Yep. Uh, trident. Uh. Tips and strategies. Make a pencil map to save the location of each item, celestial and key and exit door. We won't be doing that. Enemies are immune while they blink blue after being hit. We found that out. Sometimes they even become faster during the period. Run away from them until they recover the usual red color. Oh, screen blip there. Oh, you're getting so close. Yay, gold! Uh, if you have trouble dodging, then remember that the boots of Elios are hidden somewhere in the early dungeons. Boots hidden. of Elios? Hidden. Hidden. Are there hidden walls? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. No. 
wonderful. Every few uh, levels of descent, new types of enemies start to appear. Learn the behavior patterns. Altar is tough. Try to get them as many upgrades as possible before facing them. End notes. There's a level in the shape of a Buddhist manji. It is similar to an inverted, inverted swastika, but has nothing to do with Nazism. <laughs> it refers to the four steps of Buddha. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're down to one health. You're in trouble. You're waiting too long to attack. For now, the game is optimized for NTSC. PAL version will be published soon. Although the game is already finished, it is possible that updates be made in the future. These updates can be downloaded by anyone who has purchased the game. Hey! 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 Oh, I know. I know. It's such a press oppression for cats. Cat. That you can't do whatever you want. Cat oppression! Oh, you got all your health back. Yeah, I went to the uh, thing that uh, gives you all your uh, health back. Uh, good. Okay. Stinky cat. Is it, are you stinky? He's always stinky. Yeah, Ooh, four. I need as many of those nice. as you can find. Dan says, looks good. It is cool. Um, uh, the developer is currently looking for a publisher for a possible physical edition. Nice. I've tried to contact Atari Age through Twitter and the web form, but not received a response. If you or any viewer know somebody that might be interested, we are all ears. Yeah, you made it. Do oh, the next yes, one? Please. Are you done? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Can you press the select, not yes. the reset? Not the reset. Not this one? Not that one. Not that one, eh? Oh, my oh, goodness. It's, a, it's an eagle. It's, uh, this is uh, making your not uh, uh, swastika a little more dubious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lot of maze. No, it's not that bad, though. But which one am I in? You're at the, in the middle. You always start at the Ooh, middle. Ooh, that's good. So it's right there. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Calm that cat. Hey, stop it. Stop it. I'm going to do the left first. Oh, it's a ghosty. Oh, he disappears and changes. Oh, my God. He's a different color. Oh, I see. You can only hit him when he's red. Yep. So you have to run away from him. I see. Oh. It's a little ah, bit harder. Ah, that is a little bit harder. I lost one point. Oh, it's such glare. Barely see the exits. Let's mm -hmm. go up now. Mm -hmm. oh. oh no, they're all like that now. Oh, this mm -mm. one's not as long. Mm -mm. This guy's the easy guy. Okay. He's from the other levels. <gasps> nice, is it longer? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's so helpful. Yep. Not getting anywhere without a long sword. No. Mm -mm. Now you're in trouble, Mr. Ghost. Actually, he's difficult for a different reason. Oh, let's talk about mm -hmm. the festival. It was really hot. <laughs> really, really oh, hot. Yes. More like hot and humid. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's interesting where we were in L.A., Southern California. Um, always started the day off very hazy. Yeah, and, and nice. cool. cool. And then by the time noon, everything burns off and it gets quite hot. Yeah. Um, I didn't mind the mornings, though. The mornings oh, were kind of nice. nice. Um, but you can see, possibly, that I did get there, more there, than a there. little bit of sun. I have some right of my neck. Here. Yeah, both burned. Quite, quite, quite a bit of sun. And the funny thing was, is I was wearing a necklace. So there's like a white mark of where the necklace was around my neck. You can see it. Yeah. Pretty bad. Pretty oh God, bad. I, I always say never aim for your skin to look the same color as your hair. No. It's not a good sign. Not sure me. <laughs> then I'd be jaundiced. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. So even then. <laughs> um, the shapes of the levels are from Zelda. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Did I miss one? So you got a little red in the forehead and face. Yeah. I got a little bit on my forehead, but quite a bit on my shoulders. Um, we just were not good enough with reapplying sunscreen. We definitely had it on at the beginning of the day, well, but... it was windy, and I kept moving my hair out of the way. But also, we then, were there for 12 hours. Yeah. So really, we should have put more sun, sunscreen on. So in Southern California if, sun. If there was a lesson to be learned, it was always reapply your sunscreen. sunscreen so... 
Uh, I'm in trouble. Always wear sunscreen. Ah! Oh my god. You can go down him. to zero. No! no! Oh no! Oh my god. Oh, those bricks produce the visual effect as if they were slightly tilted, but they are not. Oh. Start from the beginning. Oh. Oh, isn't the thing? At, oh, yeah, the thing's at the bottom, but the key's to the left. I don't know. I think it's the same every time. I don't think. Was it at the bottom? Um, just the, keys the health to the restore. Top. The key's to the top. It's the next oh, level. The key. Oh, the exit's the, to the top. The exit's to the top. Ah. But then there's stuff at the bottom in the right, I think. Uh, just a healing thing. One's a healing thing and one's a heart, I think. There oh, is a heart yes, to the right. that's right. Yeah, so don't go running out yet. There's important stuff. Unless it changes, I don't know. Uh, so far, there you go. No, you need that. Every time. You need so you... that every level. For so sure. mapping would be beneficial yeah. if you're going to play this a number of times. So what was your favorite act at um, the uh, festival? Um, Did you have one? I mean, I love the vandals. They're, they had a bit of trouble with their equipment. Yeah, it kept breaking. <laughs> so they messed a lot of songs. Yeah. Um, I mean, they. It was kind of funny because this mic stopped working, right? Mm. And then they got, got him a new mic, and it didn't work. Then they got him another microphone, and it didn't work. Um, but he could have just used the microphone of his other bandmate, mm. which was working. I don't know why he stopped Did everything grab that? and yeah. kept trying to use the micro his microphone. I have no idea. But... Uh, um, I really like the Vandals, and I've been waiting a long time to see them mm. in concert. Um, it was a little bit meh for the for the performance because of the the, the audio issues. Audio issues, yeah. but the songs they did were very good. There, was there anything down? I down down this no, way. No, no, the, I went. no. You didn't go down on the other side, did I you? I did. No, you didn't. I don't think. The right and down, you mean? Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm check where. Oh, I'm already going down. Yeah, down to the right. I didn't. Yes, that's where I got the hit points. Oh, okay. I didn't see you. Uh, oh, that's okay. You see these guys are easy. Um, Bad Religion. Bad Religion was excellent. Like, absolutely perfect, as always. I'd seen them before. It was the only act I'd seen before. Um, oh. oh. In, in the, um, out of all the... Down? Down. Oh, you I haven't gone down. Keys. Oh, haven't I? No, you got the key, I thought. I thought I got the key too, but why is it? Uh... No, no. Well, that's the to get back. You out. need to find the exit. So. So go down. So it does change because it was mm -hmm. up before. I don't think so. No. There we go. Oh I no, did, this I is level two, right? Yeah, I'm getting confused. Yeah, I don't know how many levels are. Ooh, got my hit points back. Mm -hmm. Um. And your favorites. Well, Iggy Pop, I think, was high yeah. up there. I really like the adolescents. I thought they did a fantastic oh, yeah. job. Very good. Um, yeah, I mean, um, the crowds were massive. I was shocked at how big they were, actually. Like, I, I expected it to be big, but it was, mm, it was truly massive. Yeah. Um, people were like estimating, oh, there's 40,000 people here. I'm, I'm like, like, no, no, no. Are you, are you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> There was 40, 40, 50,000 car spaces. Mm. And I believe they're all full. Um. It was huge. And we went to Crew World Fest a few weeks ago. And they estimated 70 to 100. And 000. it was definitely more people than Crew World. Oh, now. yeah. It was it was packed and like the beginning when we first arrived I'm like oh it's not too busy not many people here and and then within about two hours it was like oh <laughs> it's you couldn't we we had to it miss was bands crazy because it was so crowded the screen jump when a monster appears is triggering me <laughs> oh as the monster appears yeah yeah it's Does it's it kind of go just it's got some um, that sword line count issues mm. when it flips unfortunately. Like, you might want to like heal that. yourself. You're very close to dead. Oh, I am. Every level seems to have a healing. It it did to the it was to the left. I thought. I think so. Immediately to the left. There. Yay! I need to find a way out. This is the uh, eagle. Ah, uh, yes, I think so. Ah, oh, the stupid ghost. He's so annoying. He's a good monster. He's a very good monster. 
down. Good job. You lead him up. Oh, there's four. Anyway. He takes four. Oh, oh, this is nope. And I can go over here. Going back. Nope. Where is it? Did you get the key? Yeah, I think. An inventory might be nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be nice to show that you found the key. But I mean, you can, you I mean, can. It's not that hard to remember. memorize. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got the key. Oh yeah, I can hit him first. Oh no. No, don't don't cut the corners. Oh. So hard. Oh, go up. I need fast boots. Which way was I going? Up. Oh no. I don't need more ghosts. Oh no. I'm gonna die. Because of a ghost. I need healing. <gasps> healing. Down? Yeah, I need the healing first. I need to explore. Yeah. Oof. It's up, because to the right. <clears throat> no. Doesn't seem to go anywhere. Where am I? Mm. Oh, I'm at the bottom. Bottom in the middle. So maybe it's up at the head? Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. And to the right? Yeah. Mm hmm Let's forget I can get him once. I do love the, um, the sprite. Yep. Icon. Um, Icon. Mm, sprite. Uh, Animation. Yes. Nope. Not in the head. Should I go to the right? Go down. Oh. So, okay. So, so it's left or right? Left One or right. wing or the other? Uh, go to the right, I guess. Yeah, I think I've gone to the left more, so. Hi. Hi, how are so you? Are you helping we James? We were very clever with uh, the parking. Oh, yes. Uh, we were very lucky with the parking. Well, we were strategic because yeah. we thought, oh, we'll park on the very edge of the parking near lot. Near the outside of the parking lot. So where there were two entrance points. It wasn't clear what exit points there were. Oh, my God, back. So I said, well, just park near the entrance. Even if it's really far away, you should be closer to the exit. To get out. To get out. I would rather walk further and get out quickly than be trapped in the middle of the parking lot and not get out. And that's what happened for yes. everyone else. Everyone else was complaining how long it took them to get out. I think it took hours. us 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And, Some um, people took three hours to get That's out. insane. To get in. To get in, apparently, and they out. had trouble too. Really? Yeah. It was very bad because there's, like I, I said, 50,000 cars leaving at once. And and as it turned out, where we parked was actually close to an exit they opened yeah, at the end of the exit. night. So we got out relatively quickly. So it's really nice when, you know, you plan. fate <laughs> allows for these things to happen. So. Planning. Clever planning. Well, being strategic. Strategic parking. Oh, okay. Oh, I went down. So I bet it's like we're starting like somewhere flower? in the... So you want to probably go to the left and the right wings yeah. and then go up into the middle? Yep. I bet there's bad stuff, though. Oh, there's Is always there? enemies. There's always enemies, kids. Is there a bad cat in there somewhere? Always bad cats. Always bad cats? Oh, but he's so licky and sweet. <laughs> he was happy he's to like, see us when we came back. He was very happy to see us. What a cute little guy. Yeah. Oh, where am I? Okay, there that's one... One of the branches, and I'm going to go to the next branch of the arm, next arm of the thing. I think I've got the pattern pretty much down for this ghost. I just have to be very careful when I do it to not take the turn too late. Hi. <clears throat> So, uh, what else happened there? The food was a uh, good selection of food. Excellent selection of food, actually. Uh, Just very expensive. Oh, my Same God. Same with 
the drinks. Oh my Whoa. god. Out of control. Out of control. Whoa. Yep. Yay! Yay! I can move speedy! Faster. Woo! Look at you go. I can Just finally don't accidentally run into these people. things. Oh, so much easier. So much easier for this ghost. Oh, that makes the ghost so much easier. Um, but the food, very big selection of food, which was very nice. Mm -hmm. Like tons and tons, way better than Cruel World. Ah, uh, Cruel it's, World was good too, but they had a... It's they not had, as many. I mean, it, it was bigger. Yep. But they have to scale it up, right? So... Yep. It was, uh, it was quite... Put the on by the same, were quite Put big. on by the same company. Yeah, Golden uh, Voice. Golden Voice, who does Coachella. Yeah. Do they? Yes. Hmm. That's their big, their big one. So now everything's up top. Uh, I was, you should read the Wikipedia article for the guy who started it. Are you on the left? Uh, yep, left and up first. Do the left side first. He... Go to the right. He used his concerts as a. He went to jail for um, drug trafficking. Re really? And he used the, the the concerts as a front for <laughs> his drug trafficking. If I if I remember what? correctly. And he went to jail for seven years for it. What? Yeah. But he continued to produce. Oh yeah, he's like one of the biggest concert promoters in California. He, uh, does he does Coachella. But he's an older man, right? He's an old dude, <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. It's very, oh, well, I can, in, I can in, exit. Interesting, yeah. I think I'll go for it, because I got... Well, there, I didn't get the heart yet. I'm going to get the heart. I bet there's a heart. Oh, no, there isn't. Okay. Well, we're going back then. And again. That I did not know. Yeah, that guy that came on stage a bunch of times. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Great graphics. That's fascinating. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Everybody's so quiet in the chat. I know, because it, it's uh, that's the it's thing with RPGs. It's kind of a <laughs> calming, relaxing. Uh... So I'm gonna go down first. It's like a flower too. <laughs> Kamadev, back when he was doing money laundering, concert goes were probably like, wow, the food and the drink is really <laughs> cheap this time. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So right at the bottom is that update thing. That, uh, get your help. Fascinating. Back. Fascinating. It is. Yeah. It was well, not cheap this time. <laughs> Food and drink were very expensive. Oh my goodness. Absolutely out of control. Thankfully, it was a one day I know. I, I think I said that to you. I don't mind a little bit of extra expense if it's like a one day event. But I can't, but I can't imagine, yeah, if you're going Coachella? to like a three day Coachella and every drink you buy is, is $20 US. US. Oh, it's a new one. Ah. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, my God. It takes a little bit to refill. Fresh, so just oh, he's, what? It's not going for me. Oh, oh he does go for you. Run away! Oh my god! Get up, get far away from him. Uh, uh, run away! Only go so far. He's, he moves Ooh. in very strange patterns. He kind of jumps forward, but in different Which way was I going now? distances. Uh, okay. Do you want me to look at the? Well, it doesn't show you where you That's are. That's true. Do the other side of the flower. I was gonna petal. say because it's not like anyone, uh, no one's ever used a music event to make money with drugs before. You know. <laughs> oh no, no. There's no drugs in music festivals. <laughs> it's an urban legend. <laughs> <laughs> I never smelled any. <laughs> Come on, give me something. Yay! I'm sure I missed a heart on one of these levels. Oh, God, this guy's so scary. I don't understand him. Jump. He, oh, my goodness. Oh, he went off the screen. I think that's a bug. Uh-oh. This might be the end of our gameplay. Oh, he's back. I, that's kind of cool, even if it uh, is a bug. That Terrifying <laughs> is the term terrifying. I would use. He goes through walls. Ah, turn back. Ah! 
is terrifying. He's got zero hit points now. Oh, he goes. There's a gray dot that shows where he ends up. Oh. When he starts moving. Damn it. There's a gray dot. It just shows up as he moves. Can't see a thing because. Oh, it's very hard to see. Interesting. No worse than what Ticketmaster does. Agreed. They yeah. are terrible. Okay, now I'm gonna go up. Is there music in this game? Oh, there is music. It's just really quiet. Check, check, check. Okay. Now the sound effects might be way too loud. I was recently reading that the government is thinking of breaking up Ticketmaster. Yes. Yeah. I, they deserve it. They have a complete um, vertical integration. Yes. They own the ticketing. <gasps> they own the venues. And they only allow the bands to go to those venues if and they sell go tickets. Through Ticketmaster, yeah. Yeah, if they, if they, yeah, it's really, really crazy. So, if that's not a monopoly, I don't know what it is. I was gonna say, what's the word? Oh, monopoly. Oh, there it is. Run away! It's under you. Oh, it's is it always under me? I don't know. Run, run, move, move. Oh, it is always under. Oh, that's easy. Okay. There it is. When he starts moving. Oh, you just go back and forth. Okay. Not as scary now. Definitely a monopoly. Yep. If that isn't one, I don't know what it is. Oh, that's too loud now. That's too loud now. Yeah, Gamadev, it's really weird because U.S. movie theaters were the same deal as what Ticketmaster yes. does, yes. and the government broke them up in the 50s. Exactly. exactly. I think their government's a bit more friendly to... Uh... I haven't found the key yet. Mm. Have you been everywhere? Yeah. Do you want to look at the um, map again? <clears throat> Uh-oh. Click on his name. No, oh, not click. Sorry. Hover. And the, uh, the line through the circle. Bye bye. Oh, Stomp the spammer. Stomp him good into the ground. Down comes the spam hammer. Ban hammer. Ban hammer. Ban hammer for stabs. Spam ban hammer. <laughs> I think I missed something up top. But maybe not. I swear it's just a one path. There. Right again. Okay, I just need to go back and forth. Spammer, banner, hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy. Once you see the gray dot. Well, I don't even need to see the gray but dot. But it, once it comes up, he's moving, so you just have to move slightly out of the way. Yep. Some of them are just annoying me. Uh, the poor uh, punk. He, all he wanted to do was spam everybody. Oh. No, no. He heard us talking about punk stuff, and he's like, oh, you want some followers? Yeah, I know yeah. you like punk stuff. I've got an appropriate username. I'm trying really hard to make a living here. No. No. Your followers are garbage followers. <laughs> they mean nothing. Oh, which way was I going? I'm gonna go this way. I love, I love the character. I love yeah, the robe with a little a brooch. Oh, oh I thought it was a brooch. <laughs> on his, on his, on his um mm. cloak. Oh yeah, it is probably a patterned cloak, like a cross. Yeah, it is. Nice. He's, he's got like a hood. In behind? Yes, it's and so cute. Facing it, it's really good graphics. It's really good. Am I like going the wrong way again? Yeah, probably. Backtracking. I haven't oh. been paying attention, so. Paladin, cleric. Cleric, maybe? Oh, I need to get back to uh, Baldur's Gate. Oh, I no remember. time for these things. No time. Ah, kittens. <laughs> Carries the cats. 
Okay, I came in through the bottom. Hi. I hear there's a new Dragon Age coming, though. Uh-oh. Won't see, won't see you for a while. Nope. <laughs> came in through the bottom. Okay, keep on going. Got the key now. <laughs> Beware the spring-loaded cat as seen in the movie Alien. Yes. <laughs> yes. The yep. cat does jump out. But she has her priority straight. She rescues the cat. Yes. Can't go into hiber hiber hibernation without a cat. No. You you do not leave the kitties behind. No. No cat left Oh, I'm going the wrong way again, I'm sure. Much easier to handle than humans a lot of the time. Yes. Yeah. Jonesy. Oh, that was yes. just gonna ask that. Jonesy. Oh, Jonesy. Do you like Jonesy? He's like, yes, Jonesy is one of my idols. Yeah. It's a space cat. Space cat. Mm -hmm. Says I, I want to go to space one day. You want to kill some aliens? I want to bite them, or yeah. at least hide from them. Yes. Hiss at them. That's what he wants to do. He oh, Chitlala, my wife's cat looks a lot like Jonesy. Oh. Um, I don't remember what Jonesy looks oh like. God. Is Jonesy a tabby? That's a good Is question. Is Jonesy a tabby cat? It's been a while since I've uh, seen that film. Now, where's the exit? Left to the mm -hmm. right. I asked that because if Chitlitla's wife, uh, wife's cat looks a lot like Jonesy, then Chitlitla would know. Orange! Orange! I do oh, like orange cats, orange too. Orange kitties. Yeah. I like how it has the um, health for the enemy. So good. Mm -hmm. So helpful. Come on, be the exit. Terrible at mazes. It's nothing. Okay, so it's the other side. Terrible at mazes, because I always forget where everything is. <laughs> I don't think a cold is part of COVID, is it? Not usually, actually. Thank goodness. I don't have cold. Cough? I don't have COVID. Yes. Fatigue? Yes. I achiness? Yes. I have achiness. Yeah. I have fatigue. Uh, losing your sense of smell or taste? Nope. Still can smell the cat. So probably just a run-of-the-mill cold in that case. Yeah. And if you're not sore throat. feverish, sore throat is there. But sore throat can be a cold feverish. too. But I, okay, it's on the left side. Uh, Chitlidla says they know more about dogs. It's the first cat I've ever lived with. Uh, yeah, tabbies are orange. Orange cats are tabby cats because I've never seen a non-tabby orange cat. But um. Mm. But but really, an orange cat's an orange cat. Very orange specific. cat's an orange cat. Yeah. Single brain cell. Single brain. Oh no, they're so cute. They they're all, so smart. All orange cats share one brain cell. Oh no. That's the internet lore. Oh no, they're not. They're very smart. I know. Okay. Sort of a square rhombus situation. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Okay, let's see. Oh god, it's a big yeah. uh, All orange cats are tabbies, but not all tabbies are orange cats. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh. This guy is a tabby, but he is surprisingly gray on his back. Like, he has tabby markings on his face. I'm not sure what he is. We've, we've, I mean, he was a rescue, so he could be any, any measure of combo of... Purebred stray. Yeah, of, of mix of breeds. Oh, there's the exit. Bottom He's left. He's very purry. He's a little chatty. Uh, not too bad. He his coloration. He has almost like a pointed coloration where he has a very dark tail. I always um, thought he had a bit of Siamese. I always thought that maybe is a long muzzle, but uh, he has very white chin and he has very much stripy face and tail. So Beige belly. He would be what is called a ticked tabby. He's a gray ticked Full of tabby. Ticks. I don't like that term either because <laughs> it does sound like they're disease. But but his his back coat. Doesn't really have stripes on it, but it has like white ticks in it. So, oh, white ticks, yeah, Ew. Well, not actual ticks, I know. little white bits in it. So, the yeah. people loved him at Cat Jail. Oh, yeah, because he's so cuddly, he just loves everyone. Warmed up to them, yeah. in like the <gasps> second day. Bira Pocock says ours are conveniently calicos, convenient as that's the the one of the only names I know. I love calicos, calicos. too, they're very beautiful. Yes, those they are, are very beautiful. Very beautiful coloration. Are they only male, like males? Is females. That the thing? It's females because oh, okay, it has to do with X chromosome suppression, I think, on their on the coloration. I could be wrong about that. Um, 
My sister has two whitish gray rag dolls. They are the funniest cats. Floppy cats. They're floppy. They have two kids who just like pick them up and throw them around and they're just like, meh. Yeah. They're very funny cats. They're very cute though. Biggest, fluffiest poof balls oh, I've ever cute. seen in my life. Yes. I, uh, my sister, I think, had to, um, get one shaved the other day because oh, they were so matted. They were so matted, yeah. Aren't they taking care of themselves? Uh, just too floofy. They're just too overbred. To overbred. overbred that they can't oh, take care of their coat. Poor I don't know. overbred cats. Oh, I know. They're, I think they're in good health, but but the really fluffy cats struggle sometimes to keep their coats. Their coats nice and clean. Okay, this is probably the last level. I've got the key. Was that's it? Huh. Oh, okay. Where's the stairs? I'm at like the very top of this. There's a lot of inter. Oh yeah. I forgot how the ghost operates. Yeah, the uh, music is a little bit quieter, which is not a bad thing to have like no, quiet I think background that's good. music. I think it's good. Rather than blasting it's at the you. the background. But it could be a touch. I do like this. Um, it's an interesting uh, concept. Yeah. For like, movement. Oh, it marks you and then it goes after you. Yeah. And if you lead it to the t to an edge, it makes it so much easier. It should wrap around it and then. Because then you don't have to guess which uh, um, horizontal or vertical Yay. plane it's going to go first. Okay, let's see the pattern for this. There it is. Oh my. Actually, this will be easy because it's all one. I'll do this level. Okay. And then we'll be done. Okay. Because this one's easier. Okay. Because it's just well, it's got four spokes. Prongs. And you're just going yeah. each one. One's gonna be an. Uh, there you go. <laughs> That's the down. Oh god. Oh, what is that? Is it following me? Oh, it is. Interesting. I like it. That's oh. innovative. That's creepy. Not hard though. <laughs> I'm expecting the Ark of the Covenant at the end of one of those. <laughs> So it's invincible for a little bit. But it has a lot of life. Oh, yeah, it Two does. Two more? Wow. So and then you have to get it down to zero? Past zero. Past zero, right? Yeah. yeah. It does health correctly. Or maybe not. I mean... Oh, God, which way am I going? Okay, I don't know. You were going right, weren't you? So down first. And then I'm going to do the left. Mm -hmm. and do it clockwise. You still have the speed upgrade. It never w wears off. No. Yeah, it, it looks like Works it does forever. it, which is excellent. Same with the sword length. Yes, never wears so off. So I like that permanent upgrades are nice. Yep, you don't lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah full health again. I think that was okay. Once I got the speed upgrade, mm. totally fine. This guy's hard. No, um, with the speed. No, no. Once you get the speed, you're you're fine with it. I haven't. I don't think I've gotten hit since I got the speed upgrade from him. Mm. Good job. Oh, now I forget which way. It's you were going up, weren't you? Oh, I already got that. And now I have to go back. And then the next one is up after I make it back. Oh, now it's going too slow. Which way are we going? going to be the exit, which I don't want to take because I want to get yeah, the upgrade. Oh, upgrade. yeah. How big is my <gasps> projectile? Oh, nice. You. Oops. Oh, you got hit. Maybe just snap. It is good because it's a sword and a projectile, so you don't have to choose. That's very innovative, actually. Yeah. I've never seen a sword projectile in a game before. Uh, isn't like Zelda like that? You, you throw your... Is Zelda, not Zelda. There is a game. There, there, are, there are swords that become projectiles. I'm positive. Swords or projectiles? Or this one is a sword and a projectile because I can go like 
sword. I swear I've had games with Or that. I can shoot I'm it. I'm sure someone in the in the chat knows where it's like a, a finely balanced throwing sword. Correct. Throwing sword. Jedi sword. games? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, well, I'm, I'm more focused on 2600. I, I'm sure there's tons in other games. Yeah. Uh, there's everything has been created. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's see the map, and then we'll finish. Dollar, dollar. Ooh, very nice. All right. I don't know how many levels there are. Yeah, we won't keep going. We nope, can always leave, come back and I'll play more. Leave that to uh, a boomerang that doesn't need to return. Yeah. I don't think it says how many levels. Or that. Nope. No. Oh, fantasy film with a three blade spring loaded sword. <laughs> the yeah, so very what is that se secret quest vibes, like a an evolution. Cheesy. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Secret quest. It is very sim similar to that. Mm. Um, I. I enjoyed that. It's it's very it is, uh, very simple. Yeah. Very stripped down adventure game. Good not... good monsters in it though. I like the monsters. Very creative monsters. Yeah. Um, I think it could use more. Like accelerated, like one new one every level, mm. um, but it wasn't too bad. Mm. Uh, I think it was like one new one every second level. Uh, I like the upgrades, very standard upgrades: yeah. speed, weapon, hearts. Um, maze layouts, being able to see them on the screen is very nice. Mm. Um, very confusing for me because I can't remember them. Putting a dot where you are would be very helpful, but I think that's obviously was programmed as part of it to show, yeah. oh, you don't know where you are. All you know yeah. is the map. Yeah. Well, you always start at the bottom in the middle. Uh, it's pretty easy to middle. figure out where Not you start. Not always the bottom, but at least in the middle. Yeah. You are the auto map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Highly recommended. Fun. Um, yeah, it is fun. Straightforward dungeon game. I found it very relaxing. As After you got the speed upgrade... Yeah. It was a bit powerful. Yeah. A little bit powerful. As long as the monsters powerful. get harder, then you're good. So. They became a little unpredictable, but then yes. you figure it out. Yep. Then you go, oh, okay. Yep. And then you move on to the next monster. Excellent. Um, so what's coming up in the show? Well, uh, oh my God. Big show on Friday. Next show is a live video interview with John Van Ryzen. Woo. Um, mm -hmm. OG program at Activision made Hero one of the best 2600 games ever made. Exciting. Um, and we're going to be playing Alien Abduction, his new game. Mm. Uh, first new game in 40 years on the 2600. Uh, and talking about its release through Audacity. That's its cool. Its boxed release. Yeah. Um, and then uh, maybe this might move, but uh, next Tuesday we're going to be playing Super Pro Racer for the 7800. An exclusive work in progress update of Bernie and the Tower of mm -hmm. Doom. Hey, mm -hmm. Bernie. Um then next Friday, we have a plus cart special mm -hmm. and an interview with Wolfgang Stubig, uh, Al Nefer, and Marco Johannes, Marco J, and the exclusive world premiere of Mattress Monkeys. That's exciting. So you'll be here for Jumping that. On the bed. Oh, no, that's Friday. You won't oh. be here for that. No Mattress Monkeys for you. Oh, sad. Oh. Um, uh, and then coming up, we also have a, a developer spotlight to Steve Englehart. Mm -hmm. I do want to space that out a little bit because there's going to be a lot of interviews. Um, so that might be in July, early July. I'll contact him and schedule that. Um, then we also have Secret Homebrew from Champ Games coming up at some point. Uh, also a developer spot uh, on Lord Stavely mm -hmm. from Cyrano J. And later in the year, a uh, developer spotlight on Chris Walton. Mm -hmm. CD-W. Oh my goodness. So many things. There's a lot going up. on. But you definitely don't want to miss this Friday show yes. with John Van Ryzen. That's going to be believe, so cool. I believe it's his first video interview ever. Nice. Ever. Go look on YouTube. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Retro Gamer now has his game on itch.io. There you go. Go download it. Aliens, Plasma Guns, guns and, and Chewing, chewing Gums. See how well you can do yes. shooting all those baddies. Yeah. It's very, very cool. You saw it on the show today. Yeah. Um, thank you for letting us premiere it, Retro Gamer That's 1975. So awesome. um, and also, uh, thank you to all the other developers as well for letting us uh, premiere their game. Um, Philip Mayer, who's in the chat. Also, Mir said, uh, so, oh, these names. Like, 
how to get, I'm going to say his name right. Where is his name? <laughs> Uh, Mir said Saralika. Saralika. Uh, for Ninja Block and um, Altar's Lair. That was a lot of fun as well. Mm -hmm. Great lineup of games. It's always fun great, to... Great, um, great games today. Really fun. Premier games. And to uh, give back to the community and mm -hmm. show off these awesome games that mm -hmm. everybody's working on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. and and kitties. And kitties. Always kitties. Oh, look at that tail twitch. Oh, when he said kitties. He knew I was talking about him. Need to come up with a bell game for you. What are yeah. we going to do? I think we should just try that tri time trial. See how many Over gets? under time trial. How fast he can get to 10. Yeah. Yep. Ring. Or how Treat. How about you start start a timer and see how many treats he gets in the, in that time. Oh. Yeah. That, either one is yeah. good. Um, I think the treat... I think people would be more interested in how many treats in... In like a minute, two, two minutes. minutes, two minutes. Give him two minutes. Well, he could eat quite a bit. <laughs> Don't want to give him too That's many a little treats. worrying, but we'll, we'll have to test it out and see how mm. many he gets. He bats them around. He does bat them around. We'll have to try. We'll, we'll have do a to trial test it out. without, without, let's do it right now. Yeah? Yeah. Who want? Okay, let's give him some treats. Oh, you're welcome, Pseudographics. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's treat time with kitties. Yes. So we're going to do a test here. I'm going to start a timer. I'm going to see how long, how many treats he gets roughly in a minute and, or two minutes. So and that'll give us up. a rough idea. Um, just just a minute. Let's just do a minute. Stop I don't want him to be, yeah. Chunky? I, well, I don't want him <laughs> to be chunky. But I am curious. Ooh, we I want can't. to make sure he gets enough treats. Hi can't really put that on the screen with him on the screen so no it's okay it's just counting up to a minute okay do what well let's just see how long it takes him to get to 10 it's in too long did you, you say, say treats? treats yes oh look at that yeah face. we'll see well why don't why don't you we'll, we'll go to 10 no do the time trial though yeah so click go and we'll see no do a minute and we'll see how many he gets in a okay. minute okay so Ready? we're just seeing how quickly he eats. So we know if we do too many or too some little. kind of over under on how many he gets in a minute or two minutes. I need some action. Some yeah. gambling action. Okay. So here okay. we go. Are you ready? And go. One. Yeah. Maybe a minute's fine. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, the bell. Thank you. I He's can, been waiting so long for the bell. I can get my own treats again. Two. 15 seconds. So he's only got okay. two at 15 Depends seconds. Depends how quickly he hits that bell. Sometimes he's not great. Yeah. Harder? Come on. Three? Time attacks. 25 seconds. Okay. I eh, I think we can do two minutes. I think we can do two minutes. Yeah. So it's three? Three. Okay. Get that bell. Four. Oh, I heard that one. Four. We're at uh, 35 seconds at four. Ooh, might be too much at two minutes. Harder? I can kind of hear it. There Five. you go. Five. You need to smack it a little harder. Oh, he's, oh, taking he's it running away. out of the room. Oh, no. Oh, you silly cat. Oh, we still have to close the door for him. Okay, that's at a minute. So he's got about five. Five at a minute. That might I've be got okay. a few more in my hands, so we'll keep going to, go to two. two. There you go. He might Six. slow down or speed up. Yep. Oh, that was a fast one. Harder? Harder? Come Can't on, kitten. hear it. Harder? Oh, my goodness, kitten. It's not so working. Soft. Here, let me try it again. You gotta shake the bell. Oh, Kent. Come, come on, on, ring it. Oh. Oh my <laughs> God, he tried really hard. Okay, let's swab up the bell. Maybe this one works a little better for you. Try this bell. Try that bell. Oh, kitten. There, there we, we go. go. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh my goodness. What's that, eight? It was like seven? Oh no. Five, he only got, so we got five in the first minute, right? Yeah. I think two minutes might be good. Oh, my goodness. There's eight. Because they went to ten before, right? They did. The winner went to ten. Yeah. Which was usually... Five each, but yeah. Yeah. There you go. Usually Sprite got to ten. <laughs> All right, got that's to... two minutes. Okay. So that so was, I what, nine? Two minutes. Nine? Okay. Two minutes would be I doable. I like two minutes. So next show... Well, maybe not next show. We'll figure it out. It might be next Tuesday because we have an yeah. interview and we don't... Yeah, do, do the we don't interview. Yeah, we don't interrupt the interviews. Okay, okay. Well, he got his he got his bells. He got yep. his treats. Yep. 
So I think um, we, I think that's well, we doable. Might, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. It has out. an over under factor. It might be better to be shorter because it's more oh, yeah. unknown. Yeah, it might be because it'll even out more yeah. over time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will. So maybe a minute. Yeah. And make it the average five and then go like... We'll start with the baseline. Yeah. We'll have to do it a couple more times. And adjust as yeah. we go. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Figured out something. We'll, we'll see if people understand it. Yeah. Bet you could teach them to alternate a ring or specific one based on audio. No, yeah. we tried two bells on a show. I think it was with, with Darcy. Yeah. He did not understand going back and forth. No, he wouldn't. I don't. Yeah. No. He's just like bell treat. That's just it. Give That's me the, the treat. most sophisticated. <laughs> yeah. His one brain cell is just focused bell treat. <laughs> um. So thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Gamma Dad Vitelko, Dan ABC. You you say it actually. What? Gamma Dad Vitelko, Dan ABC, Chalcedony ah. Mouth, Pseudo Graphics, Chitlit La, Retro Gamer, nineteen seventy five, Eight Bit Poets, Beer Pocock. Uh, I mentioned Vitoko, I think. Philip Meyer, 1975, awesome game. Yeah. Uh, nope. One. Uh, same peeps. The D Train, Vodcastler. Mm, I think we're getting the end oh, there. Pseudographics Pro 7, Flari, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank it's you. It's a new name. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope so too. Make sure you follow so you know when we're playing next. Uh, nostalgic Dan AVC. The, yeah, the D train yeah. I said. Captain Classic. Carl G. Uh, that's it. I think that's it. Thank you, everyone. Plus all the lurkers. A, yes. Yeah, I hope I'm better by Friday. I think yeah. so. It, I, my body's feeling better. That's my throat good. is not. No. Well, hopefully you recover quickly. Yeah. Yep. Um, so uh, make sure to tune on Friday. Yep. Set your alarm clocks. It's a different time too. Yep. Two p.m. Yeah. Pacific. Okay. Five p.m. Eastern. There you go. And whatever it is, on uh, let's see, nine p.m. GMT. So I'll uh, leave it to you to figure mm -hmm. that out. Uh, seven, eight, eight, ten. Plus 11. Yeah, we'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure it out. Okay, have a good night, everyone. Bye. Have a great week, and we'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.